All right. All right, people. What's going on? What's popping? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? What's the deal? So uh, today I'm going to be talking about reasons why you don't need to be physically attractive to women to get sex and to get shit going. Nez, what up? Kenwood Drive, Tim G, Rob Cruz, Eastern Conversation, Darrell S, what's going on? What's popping? What is the deal? Man. So yeah, I wanted to talk about that today. I wanted to talk about, you know, reasons why you don't need to be the most physically attractive guy or you don't have to look uh, extremely physically attractive to get chicks to want to fuck with you. Because again, dudes always be thinking like they, they think that, that, that women think like us all across the board. And, you know, there are similarities the way that what certain women will think, but it's not all across the board like most dudes would would uh, would think. But anyway, before we get into all of that, make sure, guys, you get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, ebook, hard copy, audio book. Make sure you guys get that. You feel me? Make sure you guys go to MrLocario.com or click the link below. All right? Yeah, man. So, yeah, so I wanted to talk about that real quick, man, because th the reason why I even brought up this topic is because yesterday I dropped a video where I was talking about um, uh, how to have one night stand. So that's the, that's the new Bad Boy membership program. So make sure you guys get on the Bad Boy membership so you can get the how to um, get one night stands, how to have a one night stand joint, right? Now, so G-Check, you said when a woman finds you physically attractive, it makes it easier. Yeah, of course it's going to make it easier if she finds you attractive, if she finds you physically attractive. So if you're talking to a girl and she thinks that you're physically attractive, that can make it easier for you to get shit going, right? Now, the thing you have to understand is this, though. One, because my eyes itching like crazy. One is that dudes got to understand that what makes you, what, what is physically attractive to a woman is subjective. So every time dudes talk about, oh, well, she don't find me physically attractive or I'm not good looking enough or whatever, whatever, you don't know if a girl thinks you're good looking or not. You feel what I'm saying? You don't know. Nez, you said, is there a way to pause the subscription for a month or two if you join a bad boy membership? Well, the thing is, when you join, you can cancel... Anytime you want, and you can join back anytime you want. So yeah, you can cancel it. So you can cancel anytime you want to cancel the the, the membership. Um, but yeah, but the thing is, dudes, they think that, you know, when you talk about physical attractiveness, it's always in a guy's mind. It's like, oh, you have to look like a male model or some shit. That's what guys usually uh, think, or they they uh, you know get that in their head. And if you don't look like that, it's over, right? Or guys think, well, if you don't, if a girl doesn't find you physically attractive, she's not going to talk to you, period. And it's so it's interesting that a lot of guys think that uh, women are as what's the word I'm looking for? As so like they think women are so hung up on looks, like we're hung up on looks. The only reason you think women are hung up on looks is because you're hung up on looks because you're a guy. You understand? You're looking at how the girl looks. You're a guy. You understand what I'm saying? Men have, we have a whole bunch of different levels to our attractiveness, even just off the jump. Now, women also have levels to their attractiveness too, but usually for guys, it's, you know, when we talk about us looking at women or interacting with women, um, you know, it's more of a look thing. So really, what's interesting is women should actually be the ones complaining about looks matter. Not you guys. You understand? You should have women who are 
uh, you know, who think they're unattractive being the ones complaining about looks. Not you guys. You feel me? So, this is the thing. What you have to understand about chicks is this. Actually, I want to read this comment. I got a, a, a two comments that was under my video the other day. And I, I screenshotted it and put it on my phone, but I'm, I'm going to read them. And this was a comment based off of uh, my video, how to get a one-night stand, right? So now this comment said, it said, um, it's from Way Too Fresh. Shout out to Way Too Fresh. So this comment said, um, I would like to add, if she's horny, she has to be physically attracted to you for her to willingly want you that night. If she's too drunk to know if she's attracted to you, it could result in a Me Too charge later <laughs> when she's sober and thinks you're unattractive or her friends uh, will slut shame her for getting with you. Now, there's a lot of stuff in that in this comment, which is, is, is kind of funny. It's actually kind of funny. Because he's saying that she has to be physically attracted to you for her to willingly want to fuck you that night. So basically what he's saying is, is a chick has to be physically attracted to you in order for her to have sex with you, which is incorrect. Right? Now, the thing is, a woman doesn't have to be physically attracted to you to want to fuck you on, you know, for one night stand or whatever. Right? She just has to be somewhat attracted to you. And being somewhat attracted to someone doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually physically attracted to them. You understand? So let me break it down to you like this so you guys understand it. Let's say you're out at a bar, at a club or whatever, and you're trying to get some, some, some pussy that night or whatever. So you see the nine, the eight nines and the tens over there. You're trying to get those eight nines and tens, right? So, you're like, I, this is who I'm physically attracted to, the eights, nines, and tens, right? But, let's say you're talking to the eight, nines, and tens, and shit ain't really popping off like you expected. Next thing you know, it's turning into one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, the, the night is winding down, right? And you start talking to this girl who's like a six. You understand what I'm saying? In your eyes, she's a six, Right? But you're horny, you want to fuck somebody, you want to fuck a chick tonight. You're not physically attracted to that six, right? But she's decent enough, okay enough to where you'll fuck her that night. You understand? So the same way where you'll do that six, even though she's not what you would, uh, who you're actually physically attracted to, you're physically attracted to the ten. But at that moment, since you're horny and it's 2 o'clock in the morning, you will fuck that six. Same thing happens for women. A woman will would want a specific type of guy, but because she's horny, because he's there at the moment, because their situa the situation uh, calls for her to want to get some dick, she'll fuck that guy who she's not that physically attracted to. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what I'm talking about where you don't have to be physically attractive to a, a, a woman for her to want to fuck you. And on top of that, what you got to understand is this. The physical attraction is just part of the part of, an, of the attraction. Meaning, what I'm saying is, is that a chick can be attracted to you in other, you know, uh, ways. Now, the thing is this. Let's say, let's say it's, for example, you, you, you uh, see that six or maybe even a five. You might see a five and you think she just got a fat ass, but everything else is kind of, eh, you understand? But you'll, you'll, you'll fuck her because she got a fat ass. Now, it's sort of hard to compare that to a woman because a woman is not just looking 
strictly at the body parts, where women have a whole list of things to grab from. But to sort of make a, a, a connection, I would say the you just fucking at five with the fat ass is the equivalent of a woman being horny and fucking that guy who she's not that physically attractive to, attracted to, but he seems like a fun, interesting dude. You understand? He's he's making her feel things. So she'll fuck him. That night. You see what I'm saying? But see, a lot of you guys are into your... You're, you're so into your male mind as far as attract what attractive is. Attractive is only physical to you. You see what I'm saying? So, and also too, we got to say something about this too. Is that physical attraction, right, is one thing. A woman could, and this is this is where it goes with the looks being a sub, looks being subjective and all this other shit. A woman could think a guy is attractive in the general sense and not necessarily be attracted to him. I'm going to say that again. A woman can think a guy is attractive but not be attracted to him. I'm going to say that again so it will sink in. A woman can think a guy is attractive but not be attracted Ted to him. So this is for all you guys with the 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 looks. It's all about looks shit. Now, let's say let's say that um, woman is not attracted to that guy who she thinks is physically attractive. Right. Now, what happens is is that guy could end up interacting with her, talking to her, doing you know. Uh, Whatever uh, they need, a, they, he's, he's interacting with her, making shit happen. Now she starts to get attracted to him based off of the interaction they're having. Johnny Quest, you said, how is that possible? What are you talking about? You don't understand how someone can be, someone can say, like, okay, for example, I'll give you for example. How many of you know who Zoe Saldana is, Right? Zoe Saldana, she she plays the the fucking green chick on Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever. Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Now, in my opinion, I think Zoe Saldana is physically attractive. But I am not physically attracted to her. Do you understand that? I think she's attractive, meaning I could see why guys would think she's attractive. But I'm not attracted to her. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this is what this is what I'm saying. So this is what you guys got to understand. So there's so many different layers to this shit. And so like I was saying, that guy who... A woman will say he's attractive, but she's not attracted to him. He could interact with her to get her feeling things, and that would make her think he's more attractive than she thought in the first place. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta understand that that aspect of the game. And 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 the same thing happens for dudes. There's times where you ever, you ever talk to a girl or be interacting with a chick who you thought was aight and then she starts chilling with you, y'all start interacting with each other and then she starts to look better than you thought in the first place? She starts to seem more attractive? You see what I'm saying? And this is why, this is why game is so important because... The feelings that are inspired through the interactions can make a person more attractive. You see what I'm saying? So that, that's what you guys gotta understand. Like, so you're just thinking, you know, oh well, if she's not physically attracted to you, then you know it, it, it's not gonna happen. Now, let me let me go back to this to this to this 
comment real quick. He said some other stuff in here that I thought was funny. He said, uh, he said, if she's too drunk to know that, if she's too drunk to know she's attracted to you, it could result into, into a Me Too charge later when she's sober and thinks you're unattractive or her friend slut shame her, slut shame her for getting with you. Guys, you need to stop. <laughs> Yo. It's so funny to me sometimes, like the, 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 like the, the logic where your arguments go into, I, it's just funny to me. So you're telling me that a chick's going to be so drunk that she didn't realize how unattractive you are. And then once she does, she's going to, you're going to catch a me too case because you're unattractive. And then her friends are going to also make fun of her for being with you because you're unattractive. Really? <laughs> oh. Guys, come on, man. Come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. That's hilarious. That's really funny. That is really funny. First of all, I would say this. If you're if you're dealing with a chick who's drunk, you've already fucked up right there. That's one. So forget about late after, no, if she's drunk, why are you fucking with her in the first place? Period. Period. So, you know, and let me, let me point out something real quick because I had, I had I had uh, 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 one of my subscribers write a, a, a comment under under my video the other day. Where I was talking about how to have one night stands, and he was saying I think it was it was Costas Costas. I'm talking to you right now. Stop writing that goofy stuff on on the page, bruh. You feel what I'm saying? Costas was like, oh, I don't understand why you and other dating coaches you're you're t you're trying to sell. Uh, your stuff and you're saying the same thing and you know it's not about all of these these ways to try to get girls and you know the the only way all you need to do is get bitches drunk to have one night stands you see what I'm saying like like stop writing that goofy shit that stuff gets deleted you understand so my oh just get these bitches drunk no this is not the page for that and this is what I was talking about on my other uh, 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 thing when I was talking about dudes who don't understand the game. You see what I'm saying? Where you're like, oh, well, oh, you know, just get these bitches drunk. Are you crazy? Johnny Quest, oh my God, stop. Oh my God. Oh my God. See, I'm about to sell. I'm, I'm about to save some of you cats from being in jail right now. Johnny Quest just said, but she made the decision to get drunk. How is her being drunk the dude's problem? Dude, dude. <laughs> Yo, are you kidding me? You got you can't be serious. You can't be serious. How is her being drunk? the dude's problem let me tell you let me tell you guys let me tell you guys some real shit let me tell you guys some real fucking shit okay and this is what it means when we talk about being a man right whenever you're dealing with chicks right and she's doing some fuck shit Okay, when she's doing some fuck shit and you get involved in that, it becomes your problem. It becomes your problem. Just like Bernard said, he said, it's going to become your problem when you get locked up because now what's going to happen is, Johnny Quest, this is what's going to happen. You're going to be like, well, this girl's drunk and that ain't my problem. She's getting drunk. You're going to have sex with her. 
And then she's going to say, oh, well, you know, I didn't want to do that. I was out of my right mind and he took advantage of me. I don't remember anything. You understand? So don't fuck with these chicks when they drunk. You feel what I mean? <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I don't want to I don't want to see you guys getting into these fucked up situations. Cause you if you asking a question, how is her being drunk your problem? If you don't realize how it can be your problem, that's when you fucking up. You feel what I'm saying? That's when you really fucking up. Exactly, Nez. She say, yo, oh, I, he took advantage of me. That's all they're going to have to say. This is what I'm to do. Y'all got to be careful out here, man. Y'all got to be careful, man. I don't even fuck with chicks if they tipsy. I don't even like doing that shit. Like, and I'm like, chill, man. Fuck all that. That's what I'm saying. So you guys better be careful. Talking about, oh, well, if, it's a, if, it's, if she's drunk, that's her problem. Okay, you think that. <laughs> you think that. All right? Man, y'all gotta, gotta chill, man. You gotta chill on that shit. Now, there was another comment that was on that, that uh, same video where I was talking about... Uh, I was talking about um, how to have a one night stand, right? So this other comment was from my dude Bra uh, Brabazon. Shout out to Brabazon. He said, it's commonly looks or horny girls and you being in the right place at the right time. But what about if she doesn't find you that attractive physically to have thoughts of wanting to fuck, but you are confident and flirty. Uh, then the guy ends up with nothing or just a number that can be flaky. Again, you see, this is what I'm saying. This is what you guys are thinking. You understand what I'm saying? This is what you guys are thinking. He's saying again. He said, well, if she's not physically attracted to me, how is she going to want to fuck me? Again, this is what you guys are thinking on, on the, with your male mind. You said, but you're confident and flirty. The confidence and the flirty shits, the flirtiness, that's the thing that can get her to want to fuck you. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. You understand? He said, then the guy ends up with nothing, just with a number that can be flaky. See, if you guys know how to build sexual tension and, and, and get a chick to be in her feelings as far as her feeling those... Uh, that energy, that horniness or whatever, that'll make her want to fuck with you. Because see, chicks, look, chicks are about how they feel and chicks are moved by words. You understand? Chicks are moved by words because the words make them feel shit. You understand? So this is why, for example, chicks read shit like Fifty Shades of Grey. You understand? Chicks read that shit because that gets them feeling those feelings, that horny feeling. Us, we're visual, which is why we watch a lot of porn. You understand? That's what I'm saying. You guys got to understand that it's not just all about you being physically attractive. Okay, we got Costas in the building. You said there's many PUA videos I see them pick up girls, and most of the times, they are either drunk or tipsy. 
and they shouldn't be. Do, do, you, do you see them fucking them now? Do you see them going home and fucking these chicks? You understand? That's another story. And even, even really going in on them, I still wouldn't even fuck with them. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, dude, dude's going to do what they want to do. So, you know, I'm just warning you cats. You feel what I'm saying? Because if dudes is all scared about the uh, all of this sexual harassment, Me Too shit, fucking uh, scared they're going to get accused of this and this because of that, why would you be putting yourself in a situation for it to make, you know, for it to be easier for you to get accused of, of some crazy shit? Used to the conversation that there's nothing sexual about smashing a drunk woman. <laughs> Man. But see, and that's the thing too, is that dudes be so thirsty because they 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 don't have that much that, that much uh experience with women that they're willing to take a chick by any means necessary you understand you're like by any means necessary i'm gonna be fucking these bitches that's that's what dudes be having on their on their mind Lorenzo, you said, what about if both parties are drunk? That's even worse. That's even worse. Because, see, let me tell you guys something, man. This is something that y'all don't want to hear. This is something that dudes who, um, you know, subscribe to uh, just, like, blaming women for everything and all this other shit. Oh, women are crazy, this and that. They don't want to hear this shit. But what you have to understand is, is that as a man, you are supposed to be responsible for all of the situations that you're in. That that also includes the, the situations you're dealing with when you're dealing with women. Costas, you said they record the sex scenes. Yeah, it's fake shit. Eric, he said, get laid or die or, or get locked up trying. <laughs> oh. Private attorney, you said, I keep dating women that leave me for bad men. Usually they're exes who are often abusive. What's your advice on how I can avoid this? Well, you just need to start talking to more women and then you're going to find women who aren't fucking retarded like that. Because those women have issues, which is why they keep coming back to those guys who abuse them and do all that other dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Man. Richard, you say you're taking a risk uh, picking up chicks at a bar or a club? No, you're not, you're not taking a risk picking up chicks at a bar or a club. You're taking a risk picking up s pissy drunk chicks at a bar and a club. Hold on. Johnny Quest, you say you're trying to call and it's not going through? What are you talking about? Hold on. I know I got the fucking phone lines open. What happened? Is this shit not quality? Let me let me try to call myself. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see something. Let me see something. Somebody try to call up and shit. Let me try to call up. 646-481-3901. Okay, the phone lines ain't working. What's going on? No, the phone lines is working. Are working. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hello? Yo, what's popping? Hey, what's up? I guess your phone's lying. You work, huh? Yeah, they work. What's, what's going yeah, on? They, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, 
It, it wasn't really nothing in particular I actually wanted to say or, or a question I had asked, but uh, I just want to warn you guys out there, you know, just so, uh, you know, just icing on the cake with the talking to drunk chicks. Because mm. uh, when I first got up to Philly, I met some guys I worked with. Mm. You know, we went out to Center City a couple of times and they were doing, you know, uh, you know, the mad dash around two o'clock. That's when you go, you know, get pussy, you die trying. Right. So we were down, I think, on the South Street or something. But uh, this real drunk white girl, real drunk out there. Mm. She, she's stumbling around and you know, mm. and, you know, acting goofy. So a couple of my friends, they were, they were, they were lurking and, and trying to spy on her. You know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah, no, nah, that's that's not a good look. Mm. You know, my, you know, my dad already told me. He said, "Hey, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't go for that for obvious reasons." Right. So there were these two dudes who who did go picking her up. So the moment they actually touched her, that's when the crowd was like, "Yeah, you know what? Y'all leave her alone." Blah blah blah. Mm. It's not necessarily because the crowd did it. We have too many examples where where dudes uh um they've done that, and then just like you were saying, the chick turned back around and like, "Yo, he took advantage of." Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. The, uh, the two guys in college uh. You know, they got a one white dude who, uh, you know, he, he met, he, I don't know if he drugged this chick or she was drunk, but anyway, she was out. He, uh, he ended up getting, uh, uh, a time for that. He didn't serve as much time as that, as the black dude in Florida. Mm. Meanwhile, it was the same thing. Then you also have, uh, the guy from, um, what's that movie? Uh, shoot. Uh, uh, no, no, it was a, it was a movie, um, The Birth of a Nation. Right. They wouldn't. Uh, they wouldn't let him uh, live it down. But he was uh, there, you know, tag teaming. Uh, right. Yeah. That was kid. um. Yeah. Uh, my dude Nate Parker. Yeah. Remember that the yeah, whole yeah, shit that yeah, happened. Exactly. You see what I mean? Yeah. That's what so, I'm saying. So, yeah. So so you guys, y'all y'all have examples of why not to go pick up the drunk chick. No, no. I bartend, mm-hmm. and just like you, just like you were saying, you know, you don't even go for the tipsy drunk chick. You know, uh, uh, uh either. Right now, just just personally seeing them, yeah, they, you know, chicks are there, yeah, they're flirting, you know, blah blah, alcohol lowers inhibitions, blah blah blah. Mm. But it, it's just not the same. And, and if you want to look at it this way, it's a coward's approach mm-hmm. for you to actually go for a drunk chick, anyhow. Right, right. So, so, so there's just there's so many reasons why not to do it. But you guys advocating doing it, y'all can yo y'all can go ahead and feel free to do it. And I'll just go ahead and I'll, I'll look online or, you know, read first, read, you know, news. And, <laughs> you know, I'll watch you guys, you know, hey, Johnny Quest, you know, I'm not calling you out, but because you didn't ask a question, I'm just using for a prime example. You want to go ahead and follow suit. I'll just go ahead and, you know, read, read you up on, you know, online or something why you got caught. Right. You know, doing what you were doing. Mm-hmm. So you guys, y'all, y'all just got to be careful about doing that. That's, that's all I got to say. Real talk, man. Man, I appreciate that, man. Thanks for the call, bro. Ain't no problem, that's man. Take up. care. Yeah, real talk, man. And, and, and Johnny, Johnny Quest, you know, I'm not. We're not making fun of you or nothing. We just want to make sure you are okay, bro. Because if you ask some questions like that, we don't want you to be in a situation where, you know, what I'm saying, shit go crazy. So we want to just put you on now. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo. Yo, what's up, Nicole? What's poppin'? Who's this? You gotta turn down your, your you gotta turn down your uh your 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 uh computer or whatever. I'm hearing the feedback the in the CD. background. Alright, so what's going on with you? I'm good, bro. I'm good. I just wanted to ask you, how do you deal with shit tests from women but still remain alpha? You said, how do you deal with shit tests from women but still remain alpha? <laughs> Yeah, remain alpha, so you don't you don't want them to bust your balls or anything, but you don't want to like end the relationship. You don't want to end the relationship because you're, you're being too alpha. You feel me? You talking about you talking about it, you, so okay? It's not like you asking two different questions. You're saying how do you uh, deal with the shit test and don't end the relationship? So you talking about you talking about actually? I mean, how to deal with a shit test smoothly so it, so the relationship is not tense and doesn't go downhill. Oh, you talking about okay? I see what you're saying, right? Well, the thing is this, in, just in general, when you first deal with a girl and chicks is trying to test you and do all this other stuff, you always have to remain calm, cool, and collected no matter what she says or does. 
And so that means that you, you have to be grounded in what you, this and this is the thing. You have to be grounded in what in, in who you are. This is why I say confidence is important. Because dudes want to talk, oh confidence or whatever. That's, no, no. This is why confidence is important. Because if a girl says something to you or does something or says, you know, says some goofy shit, and she sees that she throws you off, right? That already within itself shows her that you're not really that alpha dude. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is, but you see, the only the only way that you're gonna be able to do that is that you actually, authentically, honestly, need to believe that you are that guy. You understand? Because you could probably fake it. Okay. You could probably fake it if you want at at some, you know, uh, for a little while. But at some point, it's gonna it's gonna show that you ain't that guy. So this is why I say you gotta develop to be that guy. And then once you are that guy, you understand? She's not gonna be able to. Nothing that she says or does is if it is gonna be able to penetrate that and what happens is, as a result, she falls in line. You see what I mean? I see. So you don't need to actually check her. Right. I'm, I'm used to checking people. I, need, I check them, mm. but I get a bit aggressive when I do it with my words. Right, no, you, know, you, could, you could check a chick, but the thing is, you got to check her without, have, without it being you being so emotional about it and react, you know, and, and, and super, you know what I'm saying? Right, so you do it in a way where it's like, it's stern and she knows what it is, but you're not being overtly emotional to the point where it seems as if she struck a nerve. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so kind of like to shrug it off, like it will phase you. Right, right. So it's like, so it's like you gotta get let her get, understand the point of look what you did. That's not cool. You don't do that again. You understand what I'm saying? Let her know that's not cool. But at the same time, you don't gotta be on all up in her face like yo, what the fuck, blah blah blah. You don't want some crazy shit. Like you don't gotta be on no crazy yeah. shit. And then so at a, at a, and, and so what happens is is that she sees that you are not just letting shit slide, but at the same time she sees that she's not getting a big reaction out of you. You see what I mean? How about if a chick gives you like ultimatums and shit like that? Like if you don't do this, then I don't think we can be together and shit like that. Wait, wait, say you say that you said if a girl gives you a what? <clears throat> if a girl starts telling you with ultimatums, like if you can't, if you don't do this, and if you don't get down like this then I don't think we can be in a relationship together. How would you deal with that yourself? Right, then tell her, well, we we can't be in a relationship. Tell her to bounce. You know what I'm saying? Like, charge her for the game. Charge her immediately. You're like, listen, ain't no fucking ultimatums here. We, you, 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 you done. We good. Because because yeah, even... I even say that. I knew I had that in the back of my mind. Right, because this, this you got to understand. This you got to understand. The fact that a woman would even give you the ultimatum within itself... First yeah. shows that she she has she doesn't see you uh, as that dude in the first place. Like a chick who who, who uh, has a certain level of respect for you would not give you no ultimatum. You see what I'm saying? I, I, because because the ultimatum this you got this you gotta understand. The ultimatum either is usually a power play, right? Yeah. Or what yeah. happens is that if it backfires, then it's a it's a risk of her losing you. So if it's a risk of her losing you, that means that she doesn't really have that much invested in you because she doesn't really care about losing you. You see what I'm saying? And it also, also if it's that power play, she's doing it to see if she can control I'm you. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Don't, don't don't go that fucking route. Don't right. Say, don't, exactly. Don't go that so if she give you if she try to give you an ultimatum is 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 it's basically an immediate charge like it's like well you charge because either way either you're not feeling me like that in the first place is why you give me the ultimatum or you trying to control me that is either those so two. So basically to cut to cut it short it's either she gets with my program or there, there ain't no program at all. Exactly exactly that's it that's it that's it. Right, man, you make it sound so simple. Yes, that's all you got. I'm telling you, that's all you got. You gotta be simplify that game, man. You feel what I'm saying? I hear you, man. Hey, thanks for answering my question. I know people are calling in, so I'm going to let you do your thing, yeah? All right, that's, a, that's what's up, bro. I'm going to let you. I appreciate the car. Hold tight, my man. Peace. All right. All right. Crazy. Who else we got? We got my dude, Kate Zagging, 20 in the building. What's popping, bro? What is good? All right. Oh, damn, we got like five people calling at once. Hold on. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo, what's poppin'? Yeah, it's Nez from London. Nez, what's going on, bro? Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? I'm chilling. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for heating you up so often. But, no, no, um, no. It's all good. It's all no, good. I'm, 
That's why. That's all we yeah, had. What's no, with you? What's up? <laughs> no, I was just in the uh, in the process of of uh, signing up to that membership. Actually, I just want to ask, mm. like, is there because it's through PayPal, right? So, is there like a is there a way that we can like um, have a membership for like two months and then like pause it and then mm. come back to it after? Because uh, well, yeah, the way the way through, that like, it is, it's on PayPal. So, what you got to do is is when you join it. Is gonna you're gonna be on the PayPal thing, and then the PayPal is gonna charge you, and then when you once you don't want it anymore, you can you can uh, you can cancel it. So there's so there's no way to yeah. there's no way to pause it. You just gotta cancel it. Then when you cancel it, if cancel you want to get back on, you could you just you just uh, go back on there and, and purchase it again. You see what I'm saying? All right, yeah, cool. Yeah, no, so that's I'll what do you that do. I don't have the time to go through the whole thing. And, uh, right. One, one go. So, but no, I mean, I got like a slight dilemma to ask you about actually, um, because two years ago um, when I went to Cyprus, I uh, to visit my dad because that's where my dad's from and that's where he lives. Mm-hmm. So I basically went there and I ended up hooking up with this girl there. Mm-hmm. Um, that I met in a bar, um, right. like near the near the beach and all that. So yeah, me and my friend, me and my friends went to the bar, and there was this girl there who wasn't really like, wasn't really feeling. Um, you know, uh, her, her body was was all right, her face was kind of meh, but mm-hmm. you know, I hadn't had sex in a in a long time, so I thought you know, might as well take her home. Just, you know, slip a pillowcase over her head and do the business that way. <laughs> so, you know, I just took her home, uh, had sex with her, like, the whole night. Mm. Maybe, yeah, like, pretty, pretty much most of the night. And then the next morning, I just, like, got her back into my car um, and then, like, took her back to her place. And I didn't, I didn't see her again after that. Mm. And um, what happened was, like, I, I added her on Facebook, um, so I kind of keep in touch. Right, right. But, uh, like, after we had sex, she was telling me that, you know, oh, I was the, like, I'm the first first guy that ever made her come or something like that, and she mm. loved me and all this type of stuff. And, right. um, <clears throat> like, after I came back to England, she was, she was hitting me up, uh, quite a bit, like, asking me when I'm going to go to Cyprus next and when she's going to see me, and, see me and stuff like this. Right. And, um, you know, I kind of responded to her a little bit, but I kind of, like, stopped talking to her. Mm. And, uh, you know, I, I just kind of ignored her messages and stuff. Like, the last message she sent me was a few months ago, and she was saying happy birthday. Mm. But then, like, I noticed that she was doing playing these, like, weird games. Like, she keeps... Um, well, she deactivated her account, and then I think, like, she she unfriended me. And then, like, today I just got, like, a a new Facebook request from her, um, like a new uh, new ad. So she like unfriended me on purpose and then added me back. So I'm just thinking like this 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 type of should I just like block her or something because she's she's acting out like really really weird and really like uh, kind of stalkerish in a way. I just like stop stop dealing with her and not you know charge her to the game as you as you say. I mean, well, what? I, what, really see again, I mean, well, what? What else is she doing? Is does, is that the only thing? She just like unfriended you, and friended you back on Facebook. Is that that was it? <laughs> like, yeah, and she was she was she kept hit, hit, hitting on my phone, like hitting up my uh, hitting up my my messages on Facebook, like without me responding and stuff like that. So um, I'm just like saying, like some, and, and, some girls, uh, I think they end up getting emotional when it comes to sex. Um, well, I mean, they, they form for me. Well, the thing is, you don't really like this chick like that, do you? No. That's but see, but see, this is why this is why she's chasing you, though. You see what I'm saying? See, yeah. see, if you see, if you notice the behavior that you're displaying towards her is very, is very like nonchalant. You understand? Because you smash like you're like okay, she she's cool enough. I might smash her here and there, but I'm not really too into her. So it is what it is. I'm just gonna chill, whatever. So so this is why she's responding to you this way. You understand? That's just part. That's part of the the allure. That's part of the 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 intrigue is that she she's like interested in in wondering why you're not really responding to her, why you're being very aloof, why you're not really being extremely responsive to her. So that's making her want to keep hollering at you. You understand? So, either yeah, you just gonna have to keep her as a fuck buddy here and there, or just you know, 
just ignore her. You know what I'm saying? Or you could just tell her, like, listen, you know, um, like, like if you, so, so my question is, would you smash her again? Would you still hit it? No, I wouldn't. I only did it because, like, I was kind of, kind of a bit drunk and kind of a bit, you know, mm. a bit desperate at the time. So, okay, so then, yeah, so, then, there, so. so then, yeah, just tell her, you know, like, if she, if she directly tries to holler at you, you understand? Just be like, listen, you know, you cool and all, we could be friends, but I'm just, you know, I'm not really trying to go down that r- route. Or you just, and if, if she keeps hitting you up, just ignore her, and that's it. You understand what I'm all saying? Right. Yeah, I mean, like, she, she, yeah, I think, I think she's like the type of chick that gets with other guys as well, and other guys are chasing her and hitting her up and mm-hmm. blowing her phone up and stuff like that, so I guess like, I'm the only one that doesn't really give a fuck now of all, all those dudes. But, right. yeah, um, another thing, Another thing is like, how do I approach? I think I don't know if you have this on your on the bad boy membership. How do I um, open a set with like a group of girls? So what, what what's the thing? How do I? Um, go oh yeah, I got it? dude. Like, I have a, I have a hello. Or? I have a whole program. This is why you got to go into bad boy membership. I have a whole program on the bad boy membership called how to how to approach a group of women. This a whole program just on that. That's what I'm saying. Like. That's what I'm saying. It's all on there. It's all on there, right, bro. I'll, you feel what I'm saying? I'll get on that. Then. Yeah, you definitely, I'll definitely got to get on that, bro. I got, I got the, a whole program just on that, man. Let me see if I can pull this all up right, right cool. now. Hold on, I'm gonna try to pull up the the membership on my phone, so so dudes can so dudes can see, you know, what's what's popping in these streets. Yeah, I got a whole program on that, just straight on, on uh how to how to approach women. In groups, let me let me find it right now. Hold on, let me find this shit right now. Okay, there we go. So if you guys look on the screen right now, I'm about to show you. It's called the art of approaching women in groups. That's on the Bad Boy membership. So this this right here that you see right here is a Bad Boy membership that you see on the screen right here. And all of these yeah, yeah. are the Bad Boy membership program. So when you go to Bad Boy membership dot com and join you get all of the programs there's like 50 some programs on there now i think at this point so all those programs so yeah that's the thing so, all right, so yeah definitely get on there i got a whole joint on that shit all right cool man yeah i'll get on that now yeah all yeah, right man. thank you thank you i'll catch you later yeah all right yeah. bro i'm holla. Yep. Yep. but yeah man but yeah that's that's the shit right there i got the whole joint on how to approach chicks in groups Cause that's the shit that's tricky to me for most dudes. Yo, what's going on? Oh, yeah, that's, that's the shit. Hey, what's up, man? How you feeling? I'm chilling. What's popping? Uh, the good life is popping. Right. Um, I'm I'm a paralegal, and I wanted to touch on some things that you said earlier on. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but first of all, what is your stance on feminism? Before I get into these details, my stance on feminism. Yeah, I mean that's damn. That's a broad thing. I, I would say just general. Uh, I mean, do you identify as a feminist? Oh no, not at all. <laughs> all right, cool, cool, yeah. great. All right, cool. So we're on the same page. Right. So, um, when they talking about when you were, I, I don't know who was saying it in the comments. When they were talking about getting a girl drunk mm. and having sex with her, mm. I, I just have to say one thing. Like, if your sister was drunk. Mm. And somebody had sex with her. Yeah, like, how would you feel about that? Mm. So, so I just want to throw that in there, so people just, you know, kind of reevaluate before they have sex with this girl mm. who's intoxicated. Right. You know, however intoxicated. Her. But also, too, this is this is what I want to say real quick about that too. Is that what men have to understand is this: is that as a man, you're supposed to be a leader, and so what it is is you're supposed to give women direction. Period. And so what happens is, is that because like the dude asked earlier, he was like, oh, but if the girl, she's drunk, then why is that your problem? The reason why it's your problem is because you're also participating in the shit. You understand what I'm saying? While the chick isn't in her right mind and you're you're still doing that. So as a person who's a leader, you got to tell this chick, hey, listen, uh, sober your ass up. You feel what I'm saying? And and, and that's, that's what it's going to be. You feel what I mean? So the thing is, as a just as a man, you gotta be you gotta understand and say, listen, I know that I have to give these women direction. This is why this is partly why I try to explain to the guys their value as a man. 
because dudes is up there talking about, oh, I'm scared to talk to this girl. I hope this girl likes me, all this other stuff. You got to understand how much shit you give a woman as a man. The shit that you bring to the table as a man, it's a lot of shit. Yeah. Chicks give you pussy. You feel what I'm saying? And sometimes yeah. if they go beyond that, they may give you uh, support as far as being submissive and doing all this other stuff to to support you as that leader, as that man. But as the man, you're supposed to give chicks direction. So, for example, like like for example, if anything happened to uh, to my wife, right? Her dad yeah. is gonna look at me. You feel what I'm saying? This is why the the father gives the woman to the man at the wedding. You feel what I'm saying? This is your responsibility now. You see what I mean? But dudes, yeah. but that's a whole other level. But <laughs> but go ahead. What yeah. you gonna say? So um, one thing to keep in mind, you know, um, when a woman um, makes their point, uh, reports um, an alleged rape. Mm -hmm. What happens is most of the time he gets dismissed. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't get dismissed, two things happen. It's either there's the alleged rapist pleads guilty mm -hmm. or it goes to trial. Right. Now, if you don't plead guilty and it goes to trial, odds are you're going to lose. Mm. And being somebody who works in a criminal defense um, office, most of the times the guys don't win. Right. And and my lawyer, the lawyer that I work for, um, and I don't want to give details, but the lawyer that I work for, he used to be a district attorney. Mm -hmm. And he told me that one of the reasons he became a defense attorney because he thinks he locked up some people who mm -hmm. didn't commit a crime. Right. And one of his strategies were when he felt like the woman this didn't have enough evidence and support of her, what what is usually um, um, subscribed for a, a DA to do is to make sure the woman cries on the stand. Mm. Because people will um, lean towards emotion right. over logic. Right. So, so it, and, and, and you got to put that in perspective. So if she said she was tipsy, you know, the, there's so many different variables that can happen. Mm. But if that case does not get dismissed, you're likely going to prison. Right. And, that's, and four years or two years or whatever amount of years, of going in for rape is worse than going in for 10 years of murder. Right. Because it's like, you know, it's, 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 it's you're a prime target. The only people that are more of a target is people who jump, done harm to kids. Mm, right. And maybe a police officer, but they're, they're, they're a lot more protected. Right. So it's like, I just want to throw that out there because I kind of felt that was important mm -hmm. because it's like, you, you might have sex with this girl, and you'll be like, yo, I'll fuck her at this party, and you think you'll get away with it, mm -hmm. but it's like, you know, when, when these cases come to us, you know, the guys was like, yo, how did they even know I had sex with this girl? Right. And then it's like, well, you were walking out the party, and, and every, while you were walking out the block, we, there was video collected, mm -hmm. and that's how they identified you. Right. And even though... Even though there's no physical evidence, there there are people who are saying that they are eyewitness to certain things, mm. and and that could be enough to bring to trial. Right. So it's like, honestly, you could have not raped her and still be convicted. Right. So it's like you know, it, it's just, and I'm not trying to scare people, but I, I I just think that that type of information is important because. When, there, when there's, um, I don't know what the word is, but when there's a certain um, sensitivity amount of, like let's say now um, we're, we're complaining about cops kill, um, killing unarmed black men mm -hmm. and unarmed black people. Mm -hmm. So now when a cop shoots it or kills somebody who's black, you know, people rush to judgment because there's an alertness in this time and era because of that. Right. The only difference is the cop is likely to win the case, mm -hmm. period. Right. But now we're, we're in a sensitivity about sexual assault. Mm -hmm. So because of that, it does psychologically affect people because I'm seeing more rape cases 
make it to trial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's important to know, like, if she, once she says it, you know, and it makes it to trial, you have untrained juries, jurors, sitting in that jury box, and they have that bias against you. Right. Mm -hmm. Because people will get convicted with no evidence. So, so the, ju the judge might tell the jury, put the burden of proof on the prosecution, mm. but you don't know what they're thinking. Right. You know, so I, I just wanted to throw that out there, to just to have people thinking, mm -hmm. you know. Nah, so, real so talk, I'm man. I'm just trying to string this together, throw it out there. That's, real that's talk, man. It. Nah, that's that's some real shit, and I'm, and I'm glad you called in to let, let cats know, because I don't think certain, certain dudes don't understand, like, the seriousness of the shit, you feel what I mean? And and cats have this Yo, get later die trying and, and mentality. Like, once you get arrested, <laughs> you know? the CO, the correction officer, might just say, "Yo, he's in here for rape. Now you're a target." And, right. And it, and it hasn't even got to trial yet. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and it's really bad. It's, it's really bad to go in there for that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really bad. Mm -hmm. You know, the CO, the correction officers, might not help you. Right. Right, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dudes got to be careful out here, man. Definitely, man. Real shit, man. Man, I appreciate I appreciate you you calling in and letting cats know what it is, man. You feel me? And I work for a criminal defense firm. I don't want to say what it is because right. I don't know if I already gave information. Nah, don't don't don't, don't spill everything. <laughs> so I just want to just this is coming from somebody who's seen a lot of cases. Man. Right, right. Nah, I yeah. feel you. I feel you, man. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, man, thanks for the call, bro. I appreciate that, bro, all right? All right, no problem. Real shit. Yeah, man, you guys got to think about that shit. That's what I'm telling y'all. You got to really be careful out here in these streets. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Damn, right. Eight people calling at once. Jesus. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hey Lucario, what this up? Is, um, I, I watch one of your, I watch your videos. All right, what's it, what's your name? What's going on? Um, so I'm calling because um, I'm trying to. There's this, there's this Asian chick that I'm really trying to talk to that I, that I see at my library, mm -hmm. and I really like. I have a, I have a, I really have a problem. Like I have a hard time approaching. Mm -hmm. like, that's like my, my hardest thing to do. Mm -hmm. So like I see this Asian chick, and I usually see her a lot when I'm um when I'm going to a library on Saturday, mm -hmm. and um and, and so anyway, so I see this Asian chick, and like I see her with like another Asian chick, like both of them look like they like friends or whatever, mm -hmm. and like they always be sitting with each other all the time, and so there's this um like they be just sitting there in the library, look like they're doing homework or whatever, like they look like they're studying. And so, there's this other, there's an Asian lady that sometimes, like, come over there and, like, watches, like, watches over them. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like, I don't necessarily know what she does when she comes over there. She, like, she looks like she might be, like, a like a tutor or something. I'm not sure. But she goes over there, but then she goes to, like, other tables doing the same thing with them. Right. And have so, you, hold on, have you, have uh, you talked, have you talked to these girls before? No, I, I never actually talk to these girls ever like I just these are just random Asian chicks that I've never you know seen before and, and this they is, just random cute and this I'm, is in this is in your school like at, at college or something no this is at, at, at a public library oh the public library okay well yeah. well the thing is you know if you see them and you sit there just you can you can actually go up and ask them like hey what are you guys studying you know what I'm saying and just have a right. regular conversation See, sometimes this is what you got to. Sometimes you got to see the, the the problem with a lot of with a lot of guys when it comes to dealing with women in general is you're always you're scared of the outcome of what's going to happen when you try to get with a girl. So sometimes you just got to have a conversation. So don't worry too much about, um, um, you know, uh, like getting with them. So if you see you, so you said you see them a lot at this library. Like you see her a lot, like a lot of times, like these girls. Yeah, but like I'm mainly like I'm mainly into like there's one like like it's two Asian chicks, but like there's one Asian girl that I'm more attracted to than the other because I I have a thing for Asian women. I, I really like Asian chicks. Right. And 
So like I'm trying to I'm really trying to approach like one looks a lot better than the other. Mm-hmm. But like but like I feel like I would have to approach both of them because like I feel like if I was to approach one out of the two, mm-hmm. then the other one will feel kind of left out. So I felt like I had to like. Do I have to, like, approach both of them, even though I only want one of them? Yeah, well, this is the thing. This is what you should do. Next time you go in there and if you see them, right, and let's say they, you know, chilling there uh, with a book or they're standing up getting a book or whatever, just go up there and basically introduce yourself indirectly. So let's say they're sitting down and then you go up to them, like, and they're looking at a book. Be like, hey, what's that book you, you guys are reading? And they'll be like, oh, it's so-and-so. Oh, that looks kind of cool. What's that about? Oh, this and this, that. Well, anyway, my name is so-and-so. Nice to meet you. Shake both of their hands. And you say, okay, you ladies have a nice day. Right? And you just keep it moving. Then the next day you see them or the next time you see them, you already know their names. You'd be like, hey, so-and-so, what's up? How's, how's your day going? So now they know you. You feel what I mean? So just do it little, little, just little steps. So then when you next time you see them, like on a you know, second or third time, that girl you like, you can start having more conversations. That's it. Right. So, so, so you don't you don't think I should just like jump jump right ahead and just ask you know ask for the number like. Right no, away, I don't think you know? I don't think you should ask. I don't think for you because it sounds like you're not you're not comfortable just even talking to them. I want to get you just comfortable talking. You know what I'm saying? Right. So and 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 what it is is low risk for you to just talk because you're not really you're not really in a position to where they they can reject you because if you just go up to a girl. And introduce yourself and just ask them what they read in. The most they could do in most cases is like ignore you. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but most yeah. of the time, if it's like that, if you come to them and step to them just confidently and just on some regular stuff, most times people aren't going to ignore you uh, if you just come in and, and go out. Meaning you just come in real quick. Hey, what's up? My name is so-and-so. Uh, what's that you reading? That seems cool. Anyway, nice to meet you. Shake their hands and then just walk away. And then the next time you what? walk in, let's say her name is like Susan or something or whatever, or Susan and, and, and Tiffany. Hey, Susan, Tiffany, how's, how's your day going? Good to see you again, blah, blah, blah. You understand what I'm saying? So now they know you on a, on a first name basis. So then next thing you know, when, when it is time, for, so let's say the second or third time when you see her, you come in and you say, yo, listen, um, you know, I usually go get coffee at this place. We should get coffee sometime. Here, give me your number. You see what I mean? So now it's a little bit easier for you to ease into it. Because I feel like at this point, um, it might be right now. Because I, because I know it. Because I've, I've coached a lot of guys who have these type of situations, and a lot of times it's too much for you at this moment to just go all the way in. Because if you go all the way in, you're gonna probably feel awkward, and that awkwardness is gonna make it weird, and that's gonna cause you to not get her number or to not make anything happen. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? I, I was kind of. I was thinking that if I if I had asked for a number, you know, she probably would have looked at me kind of weird. Mm-hmm. And and, that, and that's but, not necessarily to say she will. I'm just saying for you, because she because you could actually just go up to her, talk to her, and get her number. You could do that on the first time. But the reason right. why I'm telling you to just be comfortable talking to her is I want you to because this was going to happen. If you go up, let's say you go up and you say, you say, hey, what's up? You know, my name is so-and-so. What's your name? Oh, cool. What's, what's that book you're reading? Oh, that seems cool. Anyway, you know, you have a nice day, whatever. If you are able to do that, that's going to, you know, make you even more comfortable for the next time to go in and, and go in for the number. You see what I'm saying? Because right now you just said that you've seen these girls already and you still, you've never even gone and approached them. And so you haven't right. gone and approached them because you're not really comfortable yet. So what I'm telling you is to, 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 to now I want you to do, I want you to approach them. But what I want you to do is I want you to make the situation very low key and regular at this point. So you're not even right. like asking for a number and all this other stuff. The only, the only time I would say if to, to do, to ask for a number or to, or to get a number on the first time is if let's say you go up and approach her and you say, Hey, what's that book you're reading? And she's like, Oh, it's so-and-so. And she has like a very bright personality. She's being very responsive to you. And you say, oh, uh-huh. well, nice to meet you. My name is so-and-so. And she shakes your hand. She's smiling at you. Then, mm-hmm. at that point, you might be able to go in and do that at that moment because it's a very warm interaction. You see what I mean? But what I would say for now, just focus on just introducing yourself now. And then the next time you see her, then you go after the, you know, get the information and see what's going on with her. You see what I'm saying? Well, and, and on yeah, top of that, make sure, make sure you talk to her and a friend. You right, know what I'm but, saying? But can but can I just I mean because I, I don't know if there's a guarantee that I'll actually see these these girls ever again. So mm-hmm. that's why I was asking like, do you think I should just go ahead and just 
try to see if I can get that number in case if I don't see the number again. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, well, that, well. If you want to go, definitely go ahead and do it. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to gauge where your, where I'm feeling like your, your, your confidence level is at right now. Cause, so, cause right now it don't seem mm -hmm. like it's there. But I would say yeah. definitely go ahead and do that. You feel what I'm saying? I say definitely yeah, go do that. And, and and then another thing is like the fact that they're Asian. Like it's, I kind of feel like with Asian girls, you have to like step to them kind of differently because you know I'm I'm black and so they might feel like kind of like kind of awkward that a black person is going up to them trying to you know hit on them. They don't so do, dude. Dude, you know how many Asian chicks I've been with, bro? They don't. They don't. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like. If, if all that matters is that if she's feeling you, you don't, you never know. That's what I'm saying. Like I've been with plenty. Of, don't, don't, don't start thinking Asian girls don't like black dudes. You understand what I'm saying? Asian chicks. I mean, I know, I know Asian, some Asians like black guys, mm -hmm. but I kind of felt like you still have to step to them, like in a certain type of. Like I feel like you have to step to them different than the way you would step to like a black or a white girl. Like I feel like it's, it's different. Nah, not nah, not really, not really. It's 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 it's, it's you. All, all you got to do is your your energy has to be comfortable stepping it up. That's it. You feel what I'm saying? It don't matter if you're black, white, Asian. Because if you start thinking that, that's going to confuse you. You understand? All you got to do is go and approach and start talking and see how she's going to react to you. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to go up and do it. And also, too, don't get so caught up on that one girl. You feel what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's a lot of Asian girls out there. You feel what I mean? So, so if it don't work out with her... It's it's okay. You feel what I'm saying? You can talk to another girl or whatever and, and make it happen. You just gotta get used to um like talking to girls and all of that. You feel me? Right, and, and one more thing before I go. Mm -hmm. Um remember I told you there was like this lady that always come over there every once in a while. It looked like she like check up on them. She's also Asian. It's like mm -hmm. an older Asian woman mm -hmm. that comes over to where they sit at. And I was and I was wondering like what if what if like I, I go over there and I talk to the Asian the Asian girl mm -hmm. And the lady comes over there, and she kind of like interferes with the, the interaction that I'm having with the girl. Like, what would I do at that point? Well, you you bring the you bring her into the conversation too. You say, "Oh, hey, how's, how's it going? What's your name? My name is so and so." You you talk to her too. You you add her, include her into the conversation. Don't don't let her throw you off. You understand what I'm now, saying? Now she now like I said, she's an older woman. Like she. Like, it don't matter. Like, maybe, it don't matter. Just whoever's in the situation, and this is something you got to learn from now, because when you, you in, 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 when you're when you're talking to people and you're dealing with people in any situation, there's so many things that could happen where things could go down. So, for example, you might be at a you might be at a party talking to a girl, and then a guy shows up. So then, what you gonna do now? You understand? You you got to bring the guy in the conversation. You understand? At any moment, right. someone could pop into your conversation. You got to be able to handle all those things. You see what I'm saying? And so this is why I'm, I'm telling you that in general, you got to get comfortable just having the conversation. Because once you start getting uh, comfortable having the conversations, then all of those things are going to be a little bit more easier for you the next time you do it. Because look, you, you said you've seen this girl multiple times and you've, you still haven't approached. So that's what I'm saying. Right. You got to start approaching she she seen, she saw me like she noticed me but she never like she she saw me but she never gave me any type of like choosing signals or anything like that she just she just gave me just like a look just like you know just she just saw me that's it like she it wasn't like anything good or anything bad she just saw me yeah like, so well, who cares let her go up this is what I'm saying chicks remember women are a lot of women are very passive and also passive aggressive so this is why as a man. You got to go up there and make the move. You have to, or as a man, you're the, you you orchestrate the situation. You create the situations. You understand? Don't worry about what they're thinking or what they're doing. If a girl's giving you a choosing sign, that's cool, but don't ever wait for a choosing sign because you still create the situations that happen. You understand? Just like anything else. No, remember, no woman ever gets with a man or has a boyfriend or even has sex until the man makes it happen, meaning that you have to go and approach her. Most women aren't approaching guys. Most women aren't going up and talking to guys. So we're the ones who do it. So that's what I'm saying. You got to do everything from the beginning. So, so, so do I. So do I approach both the girls, or or just the one that I'm the most attracted to? 
No, whenever no, this is what I'm saying. Whenever a girl is in a with whenever a girl's in a group, meaning is her and someone else or multiple people, you have to talk yeah. to the whole group. So if she's there with another girl, like if she's there by herself, of course you just talk to her because there's nobody else. If she's there with the old lady, you gotta talk to her and the old lady. If she's there with the friend and the old lady, you gotta talk to her, the friend, and the old lady. And then you can narrow it down at the end of your conversation to her. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So that's what I mean. So, so every time there's somebody in a group, you gotta talk to the whole group, and then you narrow it down to the person you want to talk to. So like, but like, but do you know like any tips on like how I can like how exactly I can like narrow narrow it down to just the one girl that I'm that I'm interested in? Like this is this is what I'm saying. For example, let's say let's say you you go up to that girl and she's with her friend, right? Let's say the girl you want to talk to, her name is Stacy, and the girl that is her friend, her name is Tiffany, right? So you go up to the girls, hey ladies, how you doing? What what are you guys reading, right? Then Stacy says, oh, I'm reading this book on you know like architecture or something, and then and then Tiffany's like, oh yeah, I'm reading this book on um you know comedy, and you're like, oh that sounds cool. Like what what made you want to read those books, right? And then she's Stacy's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm into this. And then, and then Tiffany's like, oh, you know, I'm into that. And you're like, oh, by the way, my name is so and so. And you shake both of their hands. And you say, hey, look, I'm about to head out. But listen, um, Stacy, uh, you know, you seem kind of cool. I think we should like exchange numbers and like get together sometime. That's it. You see what I'm saying? So okay, you were talking okay. to both of them. And then when you're about to leave, you tell the girl you want to talk to. Here, this is my shit. You feel what I'm saying? But what, but then it will but then if I do that it will, it'll make it seem like I'm leaving the other girl out like that's it don't I, matter I it don't matter you didn't you didn't leave the other girl out because you talked to her during the situation you see what I'm saying right. you would you she would have felt left out if you didn't include her from the beginning you see what I'm saying yeah. so that's the thing so you gotta understand like she don't, girls understand and they know that uh you're gonna usually pick one. What happens is if you leave the girl out from the beginning, right? She's usually she'll usually cop block you because she's mad that you just talked to her friend and didn't even acknowledge her. You see what I'm saying? And so that's why you got to talk to you know both of the joint. It's funny you sound you sound familiar. You you do videos on YouTube? <laughs> Maybe. I'm, I'm like I heard your voice before. I swear to God, I heard your voice. <laughs> I swear I, I know I you from. I'm like this dude voice sound man familiar. It's yeah, crazy. I, I, I can't. I can't say. I you can't, can't say. <laughs> oh man, but yo, but that's what I'm saying, yo. Don't don't be scared to like go and approach them, man. You just gotta get you gotta get more used to approaching girls. And and, and let me tell you this. Let me tell you this before you get off the phone. Okay. This is what I this is what I really want you to understand, and 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 because this is very important. Because if you don't understand this, uh. It's, it's going to, you're, you're going to like get upset and frustrated, right? Understand that while you're doing all of this stuff, right? There's going to be girls who are probably going to ignore you. It happens to every guy. So don't, don't take it personally, okay? There's also going to be girls who are uh, going to reject you. It happens to every guy. Don't take it personally. You see what I'm saying? What you have to do is focus on continuing to still talk to women. Meaning, you, you, if you like Asian girls... And that Asian girl from the library not, not feeling you? Hey, it is what it is. You talk to the, the next Asian girl you see. You feel what I mean? And then so what's going to happen is one of those Asian girls going to be feeling you. And that's going to come from you putting yourself out there and you also being able to be comfortable and practice talking to, to these girls. You understand what I'm saying? And so you got to understand it. it, and, it and it's something that's going to happen, it, you know, uh, periodically where girls are going to reject you. So, for example... And I want you and I want everybody to listen to this too. One time me and my friend, we went out and we did this thing where we tried to see how many girls are going to reject us before we get a number, right? So just one day, it was in the summertime a few years back, and we was walking around just talking to a bunch of different girls. So 12 girls, I think it was 12 or 13 girls, I think rejected me um, uh, before I got a number. Him, it was like 24, 25 girls rejected him before he got a number. So, and the rejections were like either girls said they got a boyfriend, girls didn't want to stop and talk to us, uh, you know, the girls was just not into us, whatever it was. But my point is, I went through 12 chicks before one said yes. My boy went through like 20 something girls before one said yes. You understand what I'm saying? And so, that, that's what I want you to understand that there's all those variables 
that come in to play that's going to get a girl to say no or not be feeling you. But I'm just telling you this because I don't want you to get discouraged if you talk to like two girls and they're like not giving you the number and you're gonna be like, oh man, you see these girls don't like me. You see what I mean? I don't want you yeah, to get into that mind state. I usually I always had like I always had that mindset. Like every time when I every time when I approach a girl, I always get like discouraged to see like reject me. Like if it constantly happens, mm -hmm. I just start to lose hope. You know, that's right, right, and that, and and that's why, and that's why, I'm, that's why I wanted to tell you that. I wanted to tell you, don't lose hope because it's normal for that to happen. You see what I'm saying? Now, what you want to happen though is that as you're starting to do this, the better you get at talking to women, the less that's going to happen. This is why I always tell guys they got to practice because the more comfortable you get talking to these girls, the better you're going to get at talking to girls and the less it's going to happen to girls are going to stop giving you the numbers and all this other stuff. You see what I mean? So that that's what I'm saying. So you got to you got to make sure that it's something that you're continuously doing and don't let the the rejections uh, you know, get piss you off. You understand because I'm I I'm guaranteeing you it's going to happen. That's just part of the game. You see what I mean? Right. So you know, that's that's all it is. But yo man, I appreciate the call. You feel me? And um and uh you know holler at them them Asian girls and uh and, and keep 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 making them videos. I'm 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 gonna find you. I'm gonna find out your videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, actually stopped. I actually did make videos, but I, I stopped. I don't make videos anymore. Okay, cool, bro. <laughs> all right, bro. I'm gonna holler at you, man. All right. All right, man. All right, Thanks be safe. for um for the help. That's what's up, bro. I'm gonna holler. Peace. All right. Peace. Yeah, man. Crazy. Man, I knew, I knew I heard that guy from somewhere. I was like, I know this guy's voice sound familiar as hell. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hello, how are you doing, Lucario? This is Bobby, and I'm calling from Atlanta. What, what's going on, Bobby? Hey, I just had to call in because I heard that fucking loser Jamil call in. And let me tell you, you're right. He's on YouTube. And what he does is he complains about Asian women not giving him pussy because he has a dry penis. <laughs> He has a dry penis, and what he does is he cries about pussy. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Kent didn't call it next. You know, Kent, an Oreo man, you should have the whole congregate them losers call in, Lucario. <laughs> Yo, good night. It, it's, man, see, this is, this is what I was saying, you know, and, and this is what I was saying, you know, a long time ago. I said that at some point, dudes are going to come around and want to understand the game. You feel what I mean? So I'm not right. I'm not mad at dude for calling. I'm glad he called in because that that's what the, you're supposed right. to do. You right. feel me? Because Lucario, these guys' penises are so dry they can start the next California breast fire. So there's <laughs> nothing you can do for them. They're beyond help. They're autistic and they're gonna walk into a school with an AR-15 sometime, Lucario. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! You know that's... that they're beyond salvage, Lucario. But me, I have a question I need to pose to you. I, I have a real, I have a quandary. I have a fat white bitch that wants me to put it on her desk. <laughs> you say you got a fat white bitch that want to do what? She wants me to shit on her chest, Lucario, and I'm not a deviant. I'm a God-fearing Christian. <laughs> now, you're a damn comedian. That's what's, <laughs> this dude is hilarious. Oh, that dude Bobby is hilarious. Hilarious. Jesus Christ. Does, does he have a YouTube channel? Does that nigga Bobby have a YouTube channel? Because I'm about to subscribe. That shit is funny. All right, hold on. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hello? Yo, what's popping? Uh, not too much, man. I had another question for you. All right. Um... I'm a little bit older, and um, I just got that 30-day uh, approaching thing that you told, uh, right. told me to get the other day when I called in. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, I'm comfortable with saying hello or whatever, but uh, I want to know if you think since I'm starting that program, should I still be going out to clubs and uh, trying to interact or whatever? Yeah, of course. Hell yeah. Do, do everything that you can. Exhaust all options, man. Go to the club, go to the bars, talk to chicks in the streets, talk to chicks in the grocery store, hit chicks up online, anything that you could do. Do do all of it. Okay, well I got I got an, I got another little square ass question mm -hmm. for you. Um if I'm going into the clubs, because 'cause I'm doing a lot of this shit by myself, I ain't really got any friends up here since I'm in a different state, in mm -hmm. my old state. And um 
I mean, like, what should I be talking to these chicks about? Because, um, like, one time I went up to to uh, two chicks and I started to talk to them, and the, the bras just just stared at me. They didn't even say nothing. I was ready, you know, to, to snap on them. But I was like, this is just stupid, so I just love them. <laughs> So this is the thing, man. When you're talking to girls, right, um, what you want to do is you want to you wanna talk to them about shit that you want to talk to. I mean, that you want to talk about, excuse me. Um, but also make it light and fun. So either, so that's the thing, shit you want to talk about and also make it light and fun. So basically, if you're trying to like, you know, you're going out, you're trying to holler at chicks, you're trying to maybe get something for the night or whatever. And let's say you're trying to see how freaky a chick is or you want to see how open a chick is as far as like, you know, how cool and down she is going to be with like having fun banter about getting shit popping. So that's what's on your mind. That's your objective. So if you go up to a chick, you know, and, and, and this is this is why a lot of times you have to be very free flowing with your thoughts and the things that you want to do because you want to not take yourself too seriously while you're having these conversations with these women. So for example, you might roll up on a chick and you see a chick and you'd be like, yo, listen, miss, how you doing? What's your name? And she's like, uh, you know, uh, Katrina or some Trina, listen, you know, I've been rolling around all night. And I've been looking for a really, really, really sexy woman to, like, take home. And you're the only one that I've seen all night that I thought was, like, decent. You know what I mean? So, like, now I'm just talking to her on some regular shit. So, based off of her response, that's how I continue to go into shit. You feel what I'm saying? Now, if this girl ignores me or if this girl, uh, you know, fucking, you know, has an attitude or whatever and all this other shit, Right? Then I just bounce. Yeah. I'll be like, well, listen, you have a good night, I'm bounce. You understand? And you go to the next girl, right? So if a okay. girl's okay. not really, if she's not really, like, uh, giving you any type of response that you want, you can just keep that shit pushing. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And, and, and But also remember, when you start talking to them, keep the shit light and fun and, and make it be something that you want to know and you're about. So this is why I'm saying, like, because some guys, you know, uh, Let's say, for example, a guy's just out. He want to get some numbers. You understand? So, so your 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 conversation and the interactions you're having is to test her to see if she's worth getting her number. You understand? If you're trying to smash that night, your conversation and your interaction should be seeing if she's worth actually trying to take home that night. If she if she's the type of chick who's gonna be down to make that happen. You see what I mean? So, so everything is based off of your your you know your what you're trying to do from the jump. Now, quick quick question. Mm-hmm. Um, how, how do you like? What would you do? Like, like I said, I walked up, I talked to the chicks. It was it was two of them, mm-hmm. and they didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, would you just go ahead and go to the next lady and talk to them? Would that make me look bad to the next set of women that that I go talk to if they was if they was eyeing me? I mean, how how would you deal with that? So, like, let's say if you so you saying like if you were talking to these to two girls and he was sort of like not responding, and then let's say this two other girls like maybe a few feet away from them you saying like that yeah yeah because like i went mm. up to these chicks i was like hey how you doing how you ladies doing tonight mm. you know i really wasn't even trying to uh mm. to give it i was just trying to get you know that energy going right but the bitches they didn't even say shit they just they just looked at me and i was like oh you must be gay or something i said right going. but <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. How would you handle that? Nah, that's funny. And that's the thing. You you just move on straight to the next girls. So let's say you talk to those two girls. They they just looking at you all funny. You see two other girls over there, and you say, "Oh well, hey ladies, how you doing? I'm you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I need to talk to some ladies who actually know how to have a conversation. How what, how's your night going? Whatever. You just go straight to the next okay. girl. You don't even you don't even fucking you know like remember it's about what you want. You're looking for cooperation. Those girls that give you cooperation, I'm moving on to the next girls who are going to give you cooperation. And the thing is, and that's the thing, you got to, within those interactions, right, you have to yeah. make these women understand that it's not about them. You understand what I'm saying? In all, in yeah. all uh, uh, you know, facets of the situation, you got to make sure it's not about them. Like, I remember I was, like, I, I saw... What, I saw one of these RSD videos I thought was really good where the dude, he was hollering at this chick. And then this chick was like talking all this, oh, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to go home with you and I would never do that. And literally within mid-sentence, another chick passed by him. 
He turns around, grabs the other chick, pulls up the other girl into him. And he starts talking to her and starts making out with her right in front of the girl who was just talking shit. Literally, it happened in like 10 seconds. And so I was like, that's exactly what you got to do. Like, I don't give a fuck what you're yeah. talking. Listen, okay, yeah, you talk all that. I'm moving to the next girl. We're done. We're done. We're good. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And so yeah. don't don't feel that like, because I feel like a lot of guys feel this awkwardness or this feeling of, oh, well, I'm trying to talk to them and they're not saying anything to me. Now it's awkward. What do I do? You understand? No, it's not awkward. You ain't talking. I'm moving to the next girl. You understand what I'm saying? No. Yeah, I appreciate all that game you just spit. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm writing that down. Mm-hmm. Uh, another quick question is, it feels kind of awkward, you know, going out by yourself. I don't know mm-hmm. if a lot of other people do do that, mm-hmm. but for me, it just feels kind of awkward. Well, how, how can I get past that awkwardness? Oh, no, well, I, I go out by myself 90% of the time when I'm out hitting fucking with chicks. Um, but the oh, thing is, the, okay. the thing is, it's not, it's not necessarily awkward. You just got to... You just got to be comfortable doing it and also to understand that, you know, going out by yourself has a lot of advantages too. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot okay. of times when I had one night stands was because I was out by myself. You feel what I mean? Because a lot of times you'll meet women who, because sometimes women uh, go out by themselves. Most of the time they go out in groups, like in clubs mostly. But if you go to like a bar yeah. or like even like a networking event, there's a lot of chicks that mm-hmm. roll through by themselves just to come through to see what's going on because they're also mm-hmm. coming out to look for some shit. You know what I'm saying? Or you might run into a girl who is, she's with one other friend and sometimes that one other friend has a boyfriend or that one other friend's just, she's about to leave her. You know what I'm saying? So then you talk, yeah. you roll up on those two girls, you find out some information, you find out who's who. You find out, okay, who got the boyfriend, who don't. Okay, this girl don't got the boyfriend. Great, let me go after this girl. You know what I'm saying? Since the other girl got the boyfriend, she can't do shit, and she's about to bounce to go back to her man. Now I'm alone with this girl, so now it's just me and her. You see what I mean? So it's it's yeah. it's you know it ain't nothing wrong with going out by by yourself. That shit is is good because you get to you get to really uh, you know maneuver a little bit quicker, and also too sometimes like even if you see a girl in groups. Let's say it's three girls, and then one of there she's with the you know one of them you want to holler at. You can get her number. Let's say she may not leave with you because she's with her girlfriends. You can still get information, holler at her later, and then you know do that to all the other groups of chicks. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, so yeah. you know being by yourself ain't that 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 bad. And also too, sometimes it's easier to get into uh, spots too because sometimes if you roll up on in a spot with like four of your boys, they're looking at y'all like nigga. All y'all motherfuckers trying to get in here. Y'all ain't got no chicks with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, they be on that shit. So Yeah, that's true. You know. But, <laughs> see, this, this whole going out thing, man, it's, it's, it's kind of new to me. Like, I mm. used to go out every once in a while with, like, some friends back mm. in my hometown. But, uh, mm. I don't know. I'm just trying to change, you know. Right, right. Nah, yeah, different, go so. yeah, go out by yourself. Do that. And then also, too, when you go out by yourself, you could also still meet other other people you know what i'm saying that you could become cool with and then later on take them out and be out with them you know chilling and get girls here and there but also but you gotta you gotta be comfortable being out by yourself doing it in the first place you feel what i'm saying yeah yeah man so you know all right that's what it is bro hey, hey thanks mr lacar i appreciate all that gang you spit man all right bro i'm holla at you yeah right, peace yeah man <laughs> Shit is crazy, but yeah, I be going out by myself all the fucking time. Crazy. No, no, my wife is not Dasha Polanco, bro. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Yo, yo, I got through. Yeah, man. What's poppin'? Oh, Who's this? Oh shit, man. Yeah, I've been trying. I've been watching your videos and shit forever, G. And, and that's uh, what's up. First thing I want to tell you is I appreciate it, man. Like, uh. The number one thing I learned from watching your videos is just eliminate chicks of the bullshit mm-hmm. and um, and just having no fear of loss of meeting women. Like, I've never had trouble meeting women mm-hmm. or getting women. It's just me eliminating. Like, you know how you get caught up in this one or two chicks that you want right. to smash, but you don't realize you don't realize that they playing games or they bullshitting you. Mm-hmm. And then maybe six months later, you're like, man, she won't never give me no pussy. Like, right, I, right, exactly, I exactly. Had, I've never had a chance, but... I started getting on your videos probably about two months ago mm. when I broke up with a long-term girlfriend, 
and this shit has kickstarted me. I'm out here saying it, man. Like, right, right. It's unreal. Nah, and real I talk. Like a, a lot of people watch your videos, they don't really appreciate it as much, but I got to tell you, man, I think you're a fucking genius, and I appreciate all the hard work and stuff, and all the videos and content you put out. Dog. That's what's up, man. I appreciate that, bro. Appreciate yeah, that I shit, got, man. I got a couple of questions mm. um, I want to ask. Now, I, I watched, uh, I, I, I ran across your page from AMS and shit, and mm. y'all, y'all have a lot of similar things, but one thing that, that I think is, uh, that is, uh, I, I kind of believe that he, that he likes is not kissing on the first date, and you say that you should, because if a chick is really feeling you, mm. that, um, she's gonna do it anyway, it's not about giving mm. up validation that early or not, but I've had more success, it's like, if I'm on a date with a chick, mm. I like being physical, like maybe hugging her, grabbing her ass, or rubbing her thigh and shit like that. Right. And then kind of leaving it up in the open to where she doesn't know if I really like her, like her, but she knows that I'm a little bit into her. Mm. But the times, a lot of times when I have kids on the first date, uh, it seems like it kind of goes, it, I mean, it, it's hit and miss, but it seems like it kind of goes, you never know how it goes. It's not, but I have more success not doing that, and then like mm. once they get home to my crib or whatever, then I try to make a move and it ends up working out a whole lot better for me. Mm-hmm. So I know you're going to combat that, but I want to see what you have to say about that mm-hmm. to make me feel either better or worse about, <laughs> about this situation. So, yeah, well, what, what do you have for me on that? Well, the thing is, what guys got to understand is uh, if a woman likes you, a lot of stuff that you do or don't do doesn't matter. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So what that means right. is if, you, if you're dealing with a chick and let's say you want to date with her, right? And right. you don't kiss her on the date, but you say to her, yo, let's go back to my place. And then she goes back to your place and y'all fuck, right? Right. You kiss, you you not kissing her didn't matter. If you would have kissed her, she would have still came back to your mm. place. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So it doesn't right. matter if you do it or not. See, that's the thing with, with, with a lot of guys in the game a lot of times is that there's certain things that you could, could do or not do that can help in certain situations. But a lot of times mm. if the girl's feeling you, it doesn't really matter what you're doing because she's feeling you. A lot of times what matters is if, is if you go down another path to where she could end up losing attraction for you. Meaning that let's right. say, for Fucking example, up. she likes you, but on the date you start, I don't know, like uh, crying about your issues or some shit. Or you start acting super insecure. Or you start like, you know, acting weird. That could fuck shit up. But if you're just being regular and normal and she's feeling you... It doesn't matter if you kiss her or not, and you say, "Hey, go back to my place." She's still gonna come back. So it's not necessarily uh, uh, the thing. This, but the reason why I tell people to get sexual and physical uh, up front is because you want to be able to know, um, just in general, from the beginning, if this girl is gonna be an attention whore or not. You understand what I'm saying? Because let's say, for example. Let's say, for example, you want to date with a girl and you don't kiss her, you don't get physical, right? And then right. you, but you don't, but you're not able to take her back to your place. You say, "Hey, let's go back to my place." She's like, "No, I'm not really trying to go back to your place tonight. You know, I don't have sex on the first date, whatever, right?" So right. then you'd be like, "All right, cool." So then now you fucking go out with her again the next time. Let's say you're going on a second date, and then now you're on a second date, and now you're trying to get touchy feely with her, and then she don't want to get touchy feely with you. And now you're like, what the fuck? You see what I'm saying? So now, if you would have just did that on the first date, you would have got touchy-feely with her, and she would have been like, oh, no, I don't want to be all touchy-feely with you. Then you would have been like, all right, well, let's go back to my place. She would have been like, no, I don't want to go back to your place. You could have just charged us to the game instead of going on a second date. You see what I mean? So the sexual tension and the flirtation is basically the indicator of her interest. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So that you don't right. waste time. That's the that's the part that's the part that guys gotta understand. You're gonna waste a lot of time trying to sort of like play these little games versus just being upfront with your sexual interests with her. Because you it's almost right. like you want her you want her to basically make a dis, a sexual decision. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it really is about. It's about you wanting her to because it's like this, like it's like if I wanna if I want to, like, uh, like, let's say if I have, like, a fucking, I don't know, like, a, a company, and I want you to work for my company, right? Right. And then I'm whining and dining you and shit, and I'm, I'm buttering you up, and I'm like, yeah, come through to my parties and this and this and that. And then the whole time you thinking, 
I don't really, I'm not really sure if I want to join this guy's company. But you're enjoying my, my liquor. You're enjoying the chicks I'm giving you. You're enjoying the mansion I'm, I got you all up in. So now I'm doing all of this shit. And then later on, I, now I'm saying, hey, look, I want you to join the company. Uh, and you're like, oh, I don't know. When I could have just said that from the beginning and didn't have to waste all that liquor, the parties, the women. I didn't have to do all of that shit. You see what I mean? And so that's the difference. Let me ask you this. So, mm -hmm. like, if, if, if I get a kiss on the first day, like, I build all that attraction, I get a kiss on the first day, mm -hmm. and um, she doesn't come back, you're saying that, um, that basically I already put it out there, mm -hmm. regardless of, of whatever's going on. So, like, mm -hmm. if, 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 at the next time, if, if she doesn't come through or whatever, let's say I kiss her, she doesn't come through the crib the first time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the second time, she already knows that I already put it there. If there is a second date, mm -hmm. so now she can't backtrack. If she backtracks, she's bullshitting. Right, I'm wasting my time in that date early. Get the fuck out of there. Right, right, right. exactly. Because even because mm -hmm. even if you even if you let's say you don't kiss the chick, and I I don't even right. understand the logic of not kissing a girl. But let's say you don't kiss the chick. Because what what's the logic of not kissing a chick? That's what I want to know. No, this is this is what I'm thinking. So like, this is what I like to do, man. <laughs> like, when I'm out with them, I talk shit, talk mm. about sex, bring up sex, try to get them in a comfortable position or put, just put it on their mind like you always say, right? Mm. Touching, feeling, grabbing ass, the shit we're hugging. Mm. I, you know, we might be sitting at a bar like, hey, stand up. Stand up, I want to see your shape. Like, why you sitting on that ass? I ain't seen it. Grab her ass and shit like that, but I don't kiss. Or I, if it's time to kiss or I feel like she wants to kiss, I'm like, hey, kiss my neck. We're going to do more later. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And if they come to my crib, they come to my crib. But it's just like, I just feel like sometimes when women... When they're trying to when they're trying to figure you out, I think sometimes kissing on the first date gives them enough validation. But like you said, if that's really all they want, they're a teacher horse. So it kind of goes back to what you're saying, which mm -hmm. makes even more sense now that I'm talking about. It. Right. That's <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of the stuff that you're, because I think a lot of times what guys are trying to do is, like for example, you say, well, don't you know, kiss me on my neck. Don't I'll 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 we'll do something later. Guess what? There may be no later. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So that's what I'm saying. It doesn't, like, like this, because guys think that, this is what guys think. They think that by, because let's say, for example, let's say, for example, um, you're dating, let's say me and you are dating the same chick, right? You met this chick right. off Tinder. I met her off Tinder. We went on a date where, you went on a date with her on Monday, I went on a date with her on Tuesday. I already know where this is going. I you see what I'm saying? Going. Now you up there talking, she trying to fuck, and you talking about, yeah. oh, don't kiss me this. <laughs> And then, and then, and then, and then you're like, and then she's like, oh, well, and this is what could happen sometimes. The fact that, the fact that you're not showing sexual interest, she may think you don't like her. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Which and will then, make and her, them, that's rejection. which will, right, which will make her not want to uh, come home with you. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so now I want to date with her. I'm kissing her, tonguing her down. She's getting horny. And that would, and I say, yo, you know, uh, uh, come through or whatever, and now I end up fucking her. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So that, because you gotta understand something, women, women don't like the idea of, like, it, it's like this. You're gonna have, you're gonna have some women who are going to be enticed to want to have sex with you, uh, because they are, they already like you. And there's sexual right. tension being built. Then, but right. what you don't want to happen is you don't want it to be where you're dealing with a girl who's thinking about you sexually and now it's mixed signals or now she's not sure because that could potentially right. be a rejection to for her. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And so yeah, she's going to be looking... What, what happens is I take her ass home and uh, when she goes home at 11 then she calls Macario. Right, calls exactly. Macario. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> right, you see what I mean? And right. so now... Right. I'm fucking this girl so much, she's starting to get a, like emotionally attached to me, but you're not yeah. really doing nothing. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because I, I waited that one night right. and I fucked it up. Right. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Because she could be like, yeah, oh, well, this I guy ain't trying to fuck. Let me call the other dude who's trying to fuck. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because this is the thing. Dudes, this is the problem. Guys be thinking chicks don't like sex, so you got to like, like sort of like convince them or trick them or manipulate them into sex. You see what I'm saying? The point is, yeah. even if you prolong it and she still fucks you, it's because she wanted to fuck you anyway. From the beginning, yeah. Right, so you just wait you're wasting right. your own time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like that's I the that's you. the thing. You know what I mean? 
you know, I, I understand now. When you put it that way, like, mm. I mean, I listen to the videos and shit, but when you put it that way, mm. it makes even more sense. Like, now I look at back at a couple of situations where, you know, I'll build an attraction on a date. And, you know, like, the other night I had a chick, I'm kicking it with her, I'm coming on her ass, and we're kicking it, having a good time, having a laugh and shit, and mm. I had a kiss on my neck and shit at the bar, but I didn't go for the kiss. So I'm like, hey, y'all, she gonna come home with me. Mm. So... I, I text on my address while we together, like, hey, here, just follow me to the crib just in case you get lost because I drive fast. Mm -hmm. So I, 15 minutes later, I get back to the crib. I'm like, yo, where are you at? She was like, at home. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? But what she was, she probably wasn't even at home. She was in some other dude's house, and she probably takes what she got in the car. Probably. I'll get all the attraction for her to fuck, and she fucked somebody else instead. That's, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And, that, and that's what I'm like, yo, that's what I'm like, dude. You got it. You got to You got to strike while the iron is hot. Strike while the pussy's hot because you got. You yeah. got to let that chick know. Like, look, I'm trying to. I'm actually trying to make this happen. You see what and I mean? The kid seals the deal, basically, right? Like once you put the, you put it all the way there. That's the. I mean, you face it on first base, and and when you put the kiss there, I mean, it's kind of like oh, you lean in a second. If it's not there, all the touching and feeling, mm -hmm. it's just kind of like eh. right. And, I, and that's what I'm saying. So 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 the thing is, the thing is, look, look. The point is to not waste your time. You feel what I mean? Right. It's really, it, it's really all about getting the chick in a position for her to make that decision sexually, and it's gonna be it's right. it's your and by and by not kissing her or by mm -hmm. prolonging it because this is what you gotta understand too. Remember, I, I talked about this before. Women women are looking at guys in two different categories: the guys they want to fuck now. That, that those alpha male dudes and the guys they see as the sort of, you know, either closer to beta guys or beta male trait type of dudes who, those are the guys who may think that they got to take it slow with the girl. So remember, the girl's always following your lead. So if you're dealing with a girl and you're saying, no, nah, girl, let's, you know, let's not do all that. I want to, you know, like, like, I got to get to know you. Let's, we're just chilling or whatever. She's thinking, oh, He's one of those guys. I thought he was the guy that wanted to fuck tonight, but he's maybe one right. of those guys that that he thinks I want to take it slow. So let me take it slow with him. Let me let me put him in the category of boyfriend. Let me put him in the category of waiting. Right. Let me, let me show him that I'm not a hoe. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying. So if you're if you're pretending or acting like you don't want it, she's gonna think, oh, don't I don't. Fall he, in line. Right. Exactly. Right. So <laughs> now now the reverse of that is. Oh, then you got a guy here who he's kissing me and he got his my his hand up my dress. He wants to fuck and I want to fuck him. So let's get it popping. He's showing me that he's not judgmental. He's going to actually want to fuck me just like I want to fuck him and we're going to we're going to get to the fucking versus this other right. guy who's acting like he don't want it. And so I guess maybe right. he don't want it. Maybe he thinks I'm going to think I'm a slut or a whore. So let me not act like I want it now. You see what I mean? No, 100%. <laughs> I, 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 I... Right. Yeah. <laughs> when you put it that way, I mean, it's different hearing it, chopping it up with you. Right. And just listening to videos and kind of and piecing it together and shit. Right, right, right. right. Now, yeah. now when, you, when I look back, mm -hmm. you know, watching your videos and stuff, when I look back at all the opportunities, like, I, I, meet, I meet a lot of women, and I fuck with a lot of women, but all the opportunities that I fucked up on by just not being aggressive enough, right. not assertive enough, and being mm -hmm. worried about, oh, well, she's not going to want this, man. Want, now, y'all just tell she's like, yo, like, what's up? Like, you coming to the house? Like, we doing this? Are we doing that? They're mm. like, yeah. If mm -hmm. they not, then fuck it. Like, you don't really want to fuck with me? There's plenty of other people that want to fuck with you. And there's plenty of other women that want to do what the fuck I want to do. Right, right, right. 100%. Right. So, right. Because uh, you got to think about it. Oh, oh, no, no, I just want to say real quick. Because you got to think about it also in the opposite way. It's almost like, let's say if you see a girl you really, really feeling, right? You right. may want to fuck her tonight. But let's say she's like, Oh, you know, I don't think we should do it tonight, whatever, right? You may right. wait for her for the next date to fuck. You feel what I'm saying? Because you really like her and you want to, and you want to fuck her. You see what I mean? So right. because you're because because that she's you know in that oh I don't know whatever whatever you still want to smash. So you're like I'll smash her next week or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Versus a girl who wants to smash that night, you smash her that night. So you yeah. smashing either that night or next week usually is at the pace of how comfortable the girl is doing it. You see what I'm saying? Right. So the same thing happens yeah. for a woman. Her smashing you or not is at the the pace of how comfortable she thinks you are doing it. You see what I'm saying? That's what yeah. I'm saying. 
So, but, but go yeah. ahead. What are you gonna say? Oh shit! I had I had a um I got one more question in a quick scenario, real mm-hmm. quick, or some shit that happened last night. So like, like I'm I'm a tall guy, I make you know I'm really successful, decent looking dude, man. Mm-hmm. But I dress really well. I meet a lot of women, as I told you before. But I think a lot of times when I meet chicks, mm-hmm. and I've been on dates, when I go on dates, them they're four the nights out of the week, right? Mm-hmm. But when I go on dates with chicks, like you can kind of you know how you go on a date with a chick, you talking to them, you might be talking about something that's that's more high end, the stuff that you do, and I know. Like with you, you've been on TV and all that stuff, so you probably deal with this a lot once women find out what you are and what you do and they get intimidated. Mm-hmm. So I already kind of know what you're going to say. is like if they're intimidated, it's not my problem. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You discharge and move on. But if it's a chick, like I was watching one of your videos, the chick that's really hot and it's like, why the fuck are you intimidated? Or why are you acting like this? Mm-hmm. Or, and But you, you know, you know, some women are scared to fuck with you mm-hmm. because they think you're going to do them dirty. Like, right. You know, I know you're going to say, hey, it has nothing to do with me. You just got to move on. But how do you handle that? I think I'm still at the point where I'm, I'm having trouble handling, like, if it's a, a, a chick that's a 10 or she's really hot, and I want to fuck with her, but I can tell that she's, like, I might be kissing her on the date or getting back to the house or, mm. you know what I mean? She's kind of wishy-washy. Or I might even smash, but she's wishy-washy on, on fucking with me consistently. Mm. And I want to fuck with her consistently, not make her a girlfriend, but, you know, have her on the team. Like, hey, I'm out doing mm. this, come out. You know what I mean? Make a bitch bait, bring other chicks around and shit like that. Right. So how do you, how do you get her to, or how do you, how do you handle that situation in the way when chicks are intimidated? Like, what do you do? You just say, fuck it and just let mm-hmm. it ride and see if she comes back around? Right. Or is it another tactic? Well, the, well, the thing is, it depends on, you know, um, mm-hmm. a few things. Like, one, you have to, and, and this, is the, this is the thing, you have to first like recognize that because like it's good that you recognize that you know that okay this chick she's feeling me but you know she might be a little intimidated or whatever so with knowing that knowledge though yeah. what you're going to have to do is is that on your part you're going to have to be a little bit more consistent but this but this 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 comes with more energy on your part so usually the reason why i say don't even bother most cases too much is because if you do bother, it's going to be a lot of uh, energy on your part. And what I mean is, is that, and I did this I did this video, I don't know if you saw it the other day, where I was talking about like how women uh, don't chase guys who are too high value. You understand? Yeah. And because, I, I, was, uh, I watched it like eight times. Right, uh, right. So <laughs> so the thing is, what happens is, is that she may see you as the high that high value guy. And so women are only going to chase usually dudes that they feel are on their level, that they can attain. Right. So what happens is, is that what you're going to have to do if you want to make something happen is that you're going to have to pursue a little more. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because what happens is, is that the pursuit of it a little more, uh, it, it, it dispels her uh, notion that it's not real. So, so basically it's almost like, it's almost like she has to, she has to see that it's actually, um, like a real thing. It's kind of like let's say let's say for example, I use this, this analogy. Let's say I had like a um uh like a business and I'm looking for somebody to do some fucking like carpentry or to like work on some buildings and paint and, and you know bricks and all this other shit, right? So now let's say I got this fucking little kid or or some young dude, he's like 18 years old or whatever. He's like, yo, I want to work for you. And I'm like, man, I see you around the way. You just be playing around. You ain't, you not disciplined. You be always in trouble, whatever. Get the fuck out of here, right? So now the dude comes and says, listen, man, I really want to work for your company. I'll, I'll work for free, whatever. You see what I mean? Then yeah. what happens is I'm like, all right, cool. I'll give you a chance. He'll come through and then he start, he, he's coming earlier than everybody. He's working harder than everybody. He's always on time. And he's doing this consistently. He's, I'm like, oh shit, this motherfucker's actually doing the thing. Like, I didn't expect him to do yeah. that, but he's doing it. So now uh, what happens is that consistency shows me that it's real, and then I take him more seriously. You see what I'm saying? Uh, because the reason why uh, they're not taking you this seriously is because they see you as high value, and they think, yo, but this guy can get any gr- girl. Why does he want me? I don't understand. Me. Yeah. You see what I mean? So now yeah, if you... This, so, is hard, this is the hard part of the Lepari. Right. Like, where, how do you balance that? Like, I know you say call chicks to mm. set up dates once a week. Right. So do I call her two or three times a week? No, 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 no. I try to- no, no, you still, you still do the thing where it's like, let's say, for example, you still, you still want it to be a balance where you're not sweating her, but you're also, mm-hmm. 
you're also uh uh like hitting her up. So for example, this is what you this is what you could do. Let's say you hit her up, you say, yo, let's get together this weekend or whatever, right? And she's like, Oh, well, I you know, but she's like, Oh, but I don't know, because this and this and that, right? So you say, Listen, you know what? You got my number. You know I want to get together. So when you're ready, holler at me, right? Now let's say let's say she doesn't holler at you for like that whole week or whatever. And then next week comes, right? Then you can hit her up again maybe one more time. Be like, yo, listen, what's up? What's going on? I want to see you. You feel what I mean? And then so she's going to be like, oh, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. And, and so then, you know, at that point, you're like, all right, well, you got my number. Holler at me, right? So now you already did right. it twice. So now you can sort of fall back a little bit. You feel what I mean? And then, then maybe two or three weeks later. Hit right. And two or three weeks later, you hit her up. Yo, what's going on? How you been? Yo, listen, we need to get together. Like, what's, what's going on? Let's, let's just go get a drink. And then let's say now she's like, okay, yeah, let's go get a drink. I get a drink. While you're out there, you're doing your thing. And then what it is is that over over time, as you're doing that, she's going to warm up to you because what's, what's going to go on in, his, in her mind is like, damn, like, he must not be joking because if he was joking or if he wasn't that into me, he wouldn't still be hitting me up after, you know, two or three times already. Like, he must maybe actually like me. You see what I mean? And so that's the thing where it, it, it's almost like, and that's why I say it, it takes more work because... You, you're, you're breaking through. It's almost like this is like the hardest thing to do because you're breaking yeah. through her own insecurity yeah. to give her some sort of feeling of security within the situation that you actually, actually really like her. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And this is why I said yeah. it's a lot more work on your part. You see right. what I mean? So that's right. the, that's the thing. You pursue a little bit more. Right, I mean, right. Like, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. But, I, but this is what I would say, though. At a certain point... You're going to have to fall back completely, but also let her know the door is still open. Because let's say the third time you hit her up after those, you know, two or three weeks and she's still not trying to come through. Be like, listen, you know, um, you know, I really want to get together. But, you know, seems like, you know, you ain't, you know, you want some other shit. So, listen, um, you got my number. Um, holler at me. This is the last time I'm going to hit you up. But holler at me if you want to get together and we'll make something happen. You see what I mean? And so that's. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing you gotta you gotta you gotta understand. So that's that's what a balance is, because you don't wanna keep going and her not responding, but you also wanna right. do enough to where she knows, yo, I'm trying to make something happen. You see what I mean? Right. So got me, look, Kari, one thing that I learned from watching your videos mm-hmm. that that you know we used to dating has changed so much, and we used to think that it was like one or two or three options when a chick don't want to talk to you or when she's playing games. But mm-hmm. there's so many different variables oh, that yeah. we don't know about and we can't control. Like, mm-hmm. the chick that I'm talking about right now, she could be, she could have a boyfriend, she could fucking have an STE. Right. So it could be anything. That's a lot of shit. Is, with me. It's she a could, lot of she shit. She could have moved out of town for work and don't want to tell me. It could be a bunch of different shit. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes all of a sudden you get that tick. In the middle of winter in October, she was like, hey, what's up? I miss you. Exactly, hey, you right. Like, nah, real shit. Real shit. Real shit. That's it happening all the time, bro. <laughs> happening can all I, the time. Can I, can I, can I, just, I know you got a lot of calls and shit, man, but this is like my one time. I don't want to call. I always miss your, your live doing stuff. I just want to ask you this one more today. All right, last question, last question. Last question. I got a few more people trying to get yeah, in, yeah, but go yeah. ahead. <laughs> so, so check this out. So I was out with my buddies last night. We had the ball watching the game and shit. And I see this chick. She's over on the other side of the ball. So uh-huh. some type of way, when I, like five or ten minutes after I get there, she migrates over to where I'm at. And I know that that's like one of the number one shooting things. So other dudes are shooting at her, right? They're trying to get her number. I'm not paying no mind. I'm over here talking to some more chicks, right? Mm. So all of a sudden, she comes over. She's like, oh, man, you're, you're so tall. Can I take a picture with you? So I'm like, oh, okay, that's her way of trying to shoot at me, right? Mm, right. So I take the picture with her. I'm chopping it up. Like, where are you from? This, that, and she's like, I'm a flight attendant. All right, all right, that's dumb. Like, how long are you here? She's like, yeah, I'm here for a couple more days. I'm going to leave on Monday. Mm-hmm. I'm like, listen, you know, put your number in my phone. We can kick it. I'll take you out. we get some drinks and shit outside of this game. She's like, I don't give out my number. I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, cool. Well, shit. Hey, man, I'll talk to you later. So I move on. I keep talking. I'm talking to other chicks, and she's standing there. Mm-hmm. So, like, those chicks I was talking to at the bar, they get up and move. She goes and sits next to me. So, She's watching the game. I said, okay, this is your last chance. Like, mm. she's going to give it to some or not. <laughs> right. Right? So she's like, um, I don't give out my number. I was like, oh, okay. But she's talking to me and she's standing over there. Like, I think after the fact, after she's did all, done all that, this is what was really going on. Mm. She didn't want to give out my number because she probably got a boyfriend back home. Right, right, exactly. Exactly. That's what she you was about to say. But my dumb ass, I didn't pick it up. Right. 
Right. That's exactly what I'm about to say. Because so, she's probably she probably don't want you calling her, and then right. she see her man go through her phone and see her, her suit, like who this? Who that? You know what I'm saying? But so, it's all stuff that it only take it takes time to learn a game. Right. To understand and see that you got to go through those scenarios. So now exactly. when it comes across me now, I'm like, listen, what are we doing? Like, I, okay, forget the number. You can come home with me. I don't need your number for you to come home. Exactly. That's that's what that's <laughs> what I'm saying. You could have just took her took her that night. Been like, listen, well, let's let's just do it. You only here for a couple of days, which was let's get the shit popping tonight. Let's go. You know what right. I'm saying? I, I it, thought she, initially she was on some attention or shit, but she wasn't. Right. And she was there staying. I mean, after the game, we were still there. Me and my buddies were still there kicking it. She's sitting there talking to me like other dudes are coming up to her. She's like blowing them off. Right. She's grabbing my arm and shit. Like, right. That's I, what I'm I, saying. I, I she was, come out. See, you should have you should have just grabbed that up and been like, "Yo, let's go now." You feel what I mean? Hey. But that's how you got it. That's how you got to get it going. I ain't gonna hold you up, dog. I ain't gonna hold you up, man. I really appreciate it, man. Keep doing what you're doing. That's what's up, genius, dog. Keep pumping it out, dog. I appreciate it, man. All right, bro. All right, man. I'm you, man. All right, right, peace. Yeah, you guys gotta, you know, look for them damn choosing signals, man, and let and see that this chick is trying to get it popping now. You feel me? Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo, it's, it's Andrew. Andrew, what's going on, bruh? All right, so I was in a situation a few days ago. Mm-hmm. With these two broads. Right. And I, I come through to my homeboy's crib. A uh, chick comes up to me. Say, hey, I, Sterling, I didn't I didn't know you would be here. And I was like, hey, cool, I, I didn't know you'd be here either. And so the homeboys mm-hmm. leave, and I'm just sitting down with this chick. She's with her friend. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, all right, cool. Um, let me see what I can do from here, right? Mm-hmm. So I start um start hitting you know, with the dirty talk and see mm-hmm. see what we can do. Right. And I don't know how the um conversation like went, but she, her, her friend actually basically asked me if I was a virgin. Mm-hmm. So I'm like shit. She really put me on the spot. Mm-hmm. I I don't have like I don't have like magical game or nothing like that. I don't have a good mouthpiece. All you've been like around the block a few times. So I was just honest with her. Mm. So you, like, so you hey, are, so you are a virgin. A so you, so, no, I'm asking. So you're a virgin? No, I've been around the block a few times. Okay, but I'm not a virgin. Okay, I told her, I told her that basically, and said, "Hey, if we, if we ever end up doing something, I can do some damage." Right. So I'm like, and she basically acted all embarrassed and stuff. Her friend was like putting her head down and shit. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. Like, I shot my shot. Right. And like she was just like, Oh, you're you're a geek. I was like, Yeah, I'm a nerd. So what? <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> but did you but what happened though? Did you get did you get to smash? Or what's going on with it? What's going on? What happened with the chick? I ended up getting the chick's Snapchat a couple of days before then, so I wasn't too worried about contacting her or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um thing is I had to pick up my sister from getting from the car dealership. So I basically told her that she called me and said I have to leave. Mm-hmm. And what? Like, and what? Right, what and hold on. Later. What? What are you trying to do though? Because I'm, I'm confused as to like what's the question. What are you? What are you trying to like understand here? Oh, was was I being too honest, or should I just put up like a front, basically? No, you can never be too honest with a chick. You feel what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, I feel you. Like, don't look, look, look. Let me let me tell you guys something, man. Let me tell you guys something. You don't when it when it comes to talking to women, right? You don't always have to and and this is what this is what you got to learn. Whenever you're talking to women, you don't have to talk to them straight, meaning that you don't have to say uh directly shit directly what it is. You can play around. The only thing I say is don't lie. You understand what I'm saying? Gotcha. So, for example, gotcha. if she if she's like she's like, oh, you know, uh, you know, are you a virgin? You'd be like, yo, do I look like a virgin? You know what I mean? Like, you didn't uh-huh, you didn't necessarily okay. answer her question. You feel what I mean? But you didn't lie to yeah. her. You just but you're like you're creating some banter in the situation. You feel what I mean? Mm-hmm. So so she's yeah. like, oh, do you you know are you a virgin? And you'd be like, oh, wouldn't you want to know? You understand? Like, you know, maybe I am, oh, maybe okay. I'm not. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like or whatever. Like. You're just you're just sort of saying certain things to keep the conversation fun, 
but you don't necessarily have to uh, be like extremely uh, straightforward with your answer. So, but you can though. That's what I'm trying to say. So you can either be straightforward, you can either play around with it, those two, but never lie. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it is. So you're saying, should you front? No, don't front. Don't lie. But you can be fun with it. You see what I mean? So that's the type right, of thing. Okay. You know what I mean? So that that's it. Don't so don't yeah, don't worry about like being honest about it. You can be honest and say, you know, whatever you want as far as it's, it's authentic, or you could just, you know, just be on some some cool, playful shit. But but don't yeah, you know, don't front and lie like, and shit. Um her me telling her that I wasn't as experienced, probably mm-hmm. as she was, and end up turning her off, you know. So you said we say say that again, you said what? I was a little afraid that um, I would turn her off because I wasn't ex- experienced as like she would hope I would be. Like I've always been like decently attractive. I was, I've always like I've even had chicks approach me. Mm. So I'm like, well, shit. Mm. And I got the conversation to where I wanted to be. So like, well, I'm doing something right. Let me not fuck it up right here. Mm. Well, the thing is this: your 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 attitude and your energy should always be that. You're the fucking shit that she's trying to get with. You're the guy. You're the dude. You're in this situation. I'm the one you're trying to impress. You understand? I'm not worried about, you know what I'm saying? I'm creating the situation for it to be fun for both of us. But I'm always like on top. I'm always dominant. So it, there's no like, oh, well, she may have more experience than me or she may be more of this, more. Never. You understand? It's always, I'm that dude. I I'm the one that is 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 the shit in this situation to where you should be happy even talking to me. You should be honored that I'm even answering your question. You should be honored I'm even speaking to you. You should be honored honored that I'm even breathing in your direction. You feel what I'm saying? So that's that's yeah. the thing. You should be honored that I'm even using the situation to to display game. In order for you to even have this interaction. You see what I'm saying? It's the same thing like, look. You got to understand. And I was talking about this earlier. You got to understand what you're bringing uh, to the situation when it comes to dealing with women. Right? Like I said to the other caller. Women can't experience a relationship with a man unless he makes it happen. So, for example, if you were, if you ended up having sex with that girl, the only reason she's able to feel your dick is because you decided to start the interaction and make it happen with her. You see what I'm saying? So there's no, yeah. there's no thing of, oh well, she's more this and she's more that, and I, I don't know if I can live up to. Nah, it, it should be never any of that talk. Because if you understand what you bring to the table, you understand what's really popping. You wouldn't, you, you wouldn't even be thinking like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, because I feel you. Like, let me play off the fact that I'm a nerd and like mm-hmm. I'm a I I'm a reasonably attractive too. I'm a nerd. I'm reasonably attractive. I'm gonna play off that. Like, how many dudes have she been with mm-hmm. that has my swagger that do what I do? Right, right, exactly. And that's what I'm saying. You, you use all of that in your situation. Be like, yo, listen. You just tell her. Be like, listen. You need to you need to relax and and chill the fuck out because if you don't. I'm not going to allow you to suck on this nerd dick. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not going to allow you to do it. So until you until you act right, I'm not going to allow you. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're making it fun. You're making it playful. But that is all, that's coming from you. You're not in that zone of, oh, well, what, you know, she's, she may be more experienced than me. And what am I supposed to do? And I don't know. Oh, my God. I'm so, I'm so scared to talk to her. Now, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's a different energy. It's a different energy when you have that. Almost, it's almost like arrogant. You feel what I mean? It's almost like, yo, yeah. like, come on, like, like, dude, like, listen, I'm, 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 look, look, chill the fuck out, and we gonna make this happen, and it's happening because I'm making it happen. Period. And if you ain't, if you, if you ain't down, you gonna lose out on this shit. That's the type of energy you gotta have when you're dealing with women. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Is that it's type like, of stuff? I always had that, um, that insecurity. Is like, like, I do this like. It's not the most, like, glamorous shit, but, mm. like, I always felt like, you know, it's not, like, the most masculine, but, like, now I just play off the shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but that's what I'm saying, you gotta use, use your, use who you are, what you're about. Use your thing to your advantage. That's all it, that's all it really is. It's not about, like, fronting and trying to be some dude you're not and all this other stuff and, 
You know what I mean? Like, uh, my dude KZag20 in the, in the chat room said, tell her I'm going to have you busting nuts all in my pocket protector. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, shit like that. No, I'm saying it's real talk. You got to use what you got. You got to use what you got. And this is what I would say, just the, just the, 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 the way to look at it. Look at it as you are the owner of the company and she's trying to get hired. That's, that's what I'm saying. You feel what I mean? That's how you should always yeah. enter every interaction that you're having with a girl. It's not you trying to get her to like you. Like when, when a business is trying to look for employees, they're not sitting there and the, the person trying to come in for a job and say, oh, my God, hey, how are you? I, I really hope you like our company and want to join our company. Like They're not saying that shit. They're sitting there behind a desk. The, the, the person comes in with their resume. They tell the person to sit down. They tell that person what's going to be, and then they, they choose whether or not shit's going to go down. That's how you got to be when you're, when you're dealing with chicks, period. You see what I'm saying? So that's, that's the yeah, same type of energy. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man, but that's what it is, bro. But, yo, I appreciate right, the call, I was, my sorry, dude. I was, I was a little nervous calling in at first. I, I didn't expect to get an answer. No, nah, but see, that's what I'm saying. Don't, yeah, don't, you know, don't be on that nervous shit. You be all right. You feel me? So, you know. I got you, bro. All right, bro. I'm going to holler at you. Peace. Bye. All right. Man, what time is it? Woo, it's almost about that time, people. It's almost about that time. Man. Crazy. What's going on in the chat room, people? Guys, remember to get Out of Sex with Two in a Day, the ebook, card copy, and audio book. Get that shit popping. All right, I'm going to take one more call. Yo, what's going on? What's good with you? This is Infinite Ism out of Oakland. Bro, what's popping? What's good with you, brother? How you doing? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. What's going on with you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, man, I had a quick question to ask you, man, mm -hmm. like, because I see you always on your grind, and I'm real big on time management, mm -hmm. and I've been cutting back on, you know, cost expenses as well, and, you know, being real focused on my time management so I can stay on my grind. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you, like, what what do you do in regards to, because, man, I see you always post videos, and I'm mm -hmm. sure, like, you constantly, like, like, if you can, like, like, how much hours of sleep do you even get on a daily basis? Man, usually, like... Four, maybe six, the most four. in certain, certain cases. You know what I'm saying? I try, to, oh. I try to get at least six because you know, four sometimes be like, you know, it'd be too, too crazy. But yeah, between four and six usually. You know what I'm saying? Between four and six yeah. hours. You know, because yeah, I mean? I've been trying to, I've been trying to organize my days to the point where you know, I cut off. I, I used to be a real big sports fan. Feel me in? I cut. I don't even watch sports at all. My mm. Warriors are in the championship. I don't even watch it. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm trying to cut off on everything, you feel me? So I can, you know, make sure I'm on my shit and I'm got the same time to, you know, uh, enough time to get on these bitches too. You feel right. me? Like I got to make sure that I squeeze in enough time. Like tonight, I'm I work early in the morning today, and tonight mm -hmm. I'm finna about a knockout soon and try to go out and knock me some bitches or whatever, and mm -hmm. you know, do things like that. But when I talk to people that be on a hustle, I'm asking some people, people be telling me like they don't get no sleep, mm -hmm. and I'm like, damn. Cause how can you operate without sleep? You feel me, like man, it's it's I've it's, tried it before. It's hard. It's it's something. But also, too, it's it's you know, I don't think it's that healthy to <laughs> to not sleep too much. But um, the thing is, you know, I think what happens is is that you gotta you gotta like if you, if you get used to it, then it, it gets it gets a little easier to to sleep a little yeah. less. But but at the same time, it's all about just managing your time um, better. Because even myself, sometimes I still got to manage my time a little better, too. Because I get, especially when you're on the internet, you get caught up in bullshit. Like, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to go check my email, and then I'll be on Facebook, and then I'll be watching some videos. And I'm like, shit, like, I got to get on track to do the shit I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? So, it's really just being a little bit, uh, a little bit more, um, uh, you know, like... I would say cautious with how you, you know, allot your time. Because I would say, too, also, when you go, get up in the morning and let's, you know, try to do the, the hardest things first. So let's say, if you, you know what I mean? Because then that's going to make it way easier to do everything else. Because people usually like to do the easy shit first and then they, they try to, 
like, you know, save the hard shit for last as they try not to even bother with it. So and when I say the hard thing, that could be anything you really don't like to do or don't want to do, but you know you should. You know what I'm saying? So, so for me, like the hard things to me sometimes is uh, working out. You feel what I'm saying? Fucking like I, I'm, I'm in the process of writing my, my new book. And that shit is hard to me because I fucking hate writing. You know what I mean? But so I, I do that shit in the morning. You feel what I'm saying? So as soon as I wake nah. up, I try to do that. You know what I mean? No, nah, I hear you. I hear you. Because um, what I also try to limit myself is in regards to, like, trivial conversations, too. Mm. You feel me? Like, there's conversations where, you know, it's really not beneficial at the same time. Even, like, a lot of times when, you know, a lot of times people think when they can think about having energy, they mm. think about it from, like, a physical standpoint. Mm. But a lot of that shit's mental as well, too. Like, you could be talking about nothing or just doing a whole lot of nothing and then, your brain will just be, feel me, exhausted. Right, like, yeah. Real shit. Down. Real shit. And, and that even pertains to, like, you know, like, when you're dealing with with uh, women, this is why I be trying to tell dudes, like, yo, like, sometimes you got to cut some of these chicks off because they're not really uh, benefiting you in the long run of what you're trying to, trying to do or make happen. And they're taking up a whole bunch of time that could be, you know, used for more beneficial things for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And even, even, even like, <clears throat> even, you know, benefiting you in a way where this other girl might be better equipped to um, be in a situation where your time is more well spent with this girl versus another girl who's just bullshitting you and who's just giving you a runaround. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, nah, I, I agree with you 100%, man, because um, you got to, just like the, the time thing, you got to value your time for anybody else so, mm-hmm. because especially when it comes to these bitches if you over here you know adjusting your schedule for these bitches schedules you feel me like right, right. obviously you subconsciously telling yourself that you're not valuing your time and man I'm t- man ever since you put me or like you put everybody up on like you've been doing this but ever since I listen to you talking about honesty mm-hmm. I've been noticing my confidence has skyrocketed when mm-hmm. it comes to like Cause there was there there'd be a small little thing that I'm not necessarily lie about, mm. but I'll try to cover up a lot of times when it comes to bitches. Right. But now I've been so fucking honest, but like, and it's not even like I got more results. It's just the fact that I just feel more confident. You feel me? Mm. When it comes to interacting with these bitches, where it's like, it, 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 it's it, it's the way to go. So, yeah, I know, cause that, that's that's what they gravitate to, man. I'm telling you, women. Women fucking love that confident energy in dudes, man. Like, like dudes don't understand. Like, that shit is just extremely attractive to them because, um, you know, there is, like, let's say for example, when you meet, let's say, like, you, you do you see my live streams with with um with with uh Sarah? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think I called in one time. Right. So, so a lot of dudes love Sarah, right? Now, yeah. the main reason is because Sarah exudes this confident f- feminine energy. You feel what I'm saying? And yeah. so that it that shit like get like gets dudes they're like, damn. You know what I mean? Like, yo, this chick is bad. You feel what I mean? Like, and and it's yeah. it's like there's something about her. It's that it's of course you know she's cute or whatever, but it's still also the energy because you got cute chicks who are very stuck up and kind of goofy, and they don't have that same energy. You feel what I mean? And so, yeah. in that same vein, the opposite is also true for dudes. When you're a guy who has that confident masculine energy, which is, you know, that, that confidence that's there, right? Women are, they love that shit. It's, it's an energy that's like, yo, there's something about this dude, man, that just, oh, man. Like, you know what I mean? And, and so, that that thing right there gives you that edge. You feel what I mean? And yeah. so, so and, and a lot of dudes don't get that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, a hundred percent, man. Because I've been noticing, like, the more, because at the end of the day, it's only one you. And mm-hmm. you feel me, like, when you being transparent, being honest with yourself, and you being honest with your intent, and just by the way that you behave around a bitch, or you just act like there's nobody in this world that's like you. you know? Right, like, right. There's probably people in this world that's similar to you. You feel me? Like, they might have, you know, be a little similar or whatever. But in regards to like everything that you do. Nah, ain't no motherfucker out here that's ever gonna be like you, so mm-hmm. that's what you must pretty much separates you from 
you know, and you remember when people, when people always back in the days, like, if you want to get a girl, just be yourself, just be yourself. People would always say that, but I never understood that. You mm-hmm. know, because I used to be like, what does that mean? That's just a blanket statement. You know? Right, like, right, right. Just be, your, just be yourself. Like, no, nah, that's more to it. Even though there is, mm-hmm. but when you really, really go through the whole process and you understand the game more, it's really just plain and simple. You're just being yourself. Mm-hmm. No, nah, and that's the thing, and, and see, that's the, the problem is when you talk about being yourself, and I, I spoke about this before, a lot of people aren't being themselves. That's the reason why they don't understand being yourself, because most people don't even know who the fuck they are in the first place, so how are you going to be yourself when you don't even know who you are? People are so concerned with, like, lying and, you know, being fake and all this other shit, so, you know, when it comes to being themselves, they don't even know what that is because they never took time to understand who the fuck they are, and that insecurity gets them to be those type of people that lie to themselves or try to lie and be on some lying shit. And the reason why they are on that lying stuff is because um they they whatever they whatever they've been doing wasn't working. So they felt like, well, this thing that I'm doing now, which is being myself, but it's not really them being themselves, what they're doing now isn't working. So they're like, I gotta be someone else, which is the lie. And then once they see that, that's not really working in the long term or even, you know, in the short term a lot of times. They're just confused. But see, a lot of times, <laughs> and it's crazy, but a lot of times being yourself is just really digging deep and being honest and saying, because most people already know. That's the funny part. Most people know, but they don't want to do. Meaning, let's say a guy sees a girl and he knows he's feeling her. He's like, yo, she's bad. I want to have sex with her, right? But when he when he tries to talk to her, right, he never mentioned sex. He doesn't put out any sexual energy. And then he's like, oh, well, I was being myself and she still didn't want me. You know, you weren't being yourself. You understand? You were, you were sitting there being scared to be yourself. Because if you were yourself, you would have then let that chick know what you're trying to do. You see what I'm saying? And that's what, hey, what, that's what cats don't do. And that's why they don't never get nowhere. Because if he was being himself... Maybe that girl would have been into him wanting to make something happen with her. But since he was all tiptoeing because he was scared to be himself, ain't shit going down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I agree with you 100%, man. And it's crazy because we're like, you're pushing into like fronting and acting like you you want to do something that you really really want to do a lot of times. But most of the times, most people, it's going to be peer pressured into like doing things like you like he said, you gotta treat a woman like, like that. Even though you may never want to, you feel me? Most people are just gonna do it just for the fact, like thinking that that's what you just gotta do. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'll be trying to tell cats, man. Look, man, you gotta, you gotta really, uh, you know, put yourself out there and just be, be good with being you. You know what I mean? Like, and and and, and that's when shit's really gonna uh, come around. But again, too many dudes are insecure. Too many guys uh, don't know what they're about. There's and, and if and then if they do understand what they want and what they're about, they're scared to be that. That's the problem. There's a lot of guys <laughs> that are scared to tell women, "Yo, uh, this is what I want." And there's other. There's a lot of guys who are scared to, um, you know, and they're scared to tell women what they want because they're scared they're not going to get her, or they're scared they're going to lose her. You see what I mean? Yeah. So either one of those things. <laughs> And the thing is, right, the more you lie to yourself, the more you're going to have more skeletons in your closet, right? Mm-hmm. And the more skeletons in the closet you have, the more unlikely you're ever going to keep it real with yourself because you're going to be you're gonna be lying to yourself all this time. You're going to build up so much trash mm-hmm. in your life. You feel me? Where the more trash you you're like, fuck, I, I can't keep it real now. Right, right, like, right. Oh, you feel me? Like, you motherfuckers see me like this. Same thing. Even you can use an uh, example of Stu Drake and uh, Pusha T shit. Right, right, exactly. You can use that same example, like Pusha T pretty much exposed Drake for what he is. Even exactly. Though I kind of it, but he had a, a Drake has a fake ass image. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like he has an extremely fake ass image. He's not genuine or whatever. And Pusha T is just straight up real authentic. And he's like, look, this is what it is. Right. This, this is who is I am. This is what it. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's exactly what it is, man. I'm telling you. Like, cats, cats. See, and that's that's the problem with lying all the time and trying to fake and front and be on that bullshit because, you know, when, when, when you get found out, 
it fucks everything up. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, yeah. And, and even Pusha T was talking about that because he was saying that, because they were talking about, they was like, he was like, yo, uh, Drake probably, he's like, I feel like Drake don't got nothing else to say about me because there's nothing else to say. Like, there's no skeletons in my closet. Like, this is what it is. I'm, I'm who yeah. I say I am. You feel what I mean? Like, so, you know. It, it's one of the things, like, a lot of comedians, Richard Pro- I mean, uh, Paul Mooney, oh, no, oh, no, Richard Price used to do back in the day mm. where they had this self-deprivation humor. Right. Where, like, and I used to do it a lot of times, too, when I was a kid, because, you know, I was a fat little kid and whatever. But I noticed a lot of times when I would get in, like, little clown battles when we used to roast and shit. Right. I noticed that I would, I would roast somebody that had all the, you know, the, the fly shit or whatever, right? But I used to, uh, they never had jokes on me because I used to be like, look, everybody knows the deal about me. I'm fat. Right, right, exactly. I look like this or whatever. This is this is the deal. But your ass, you over here trying to act like Mr. Cool mm-hmm. and there's so much things that you hide behind your back mm-hmm. and I'm going to expose. I'm going to pull that out and reveal it in front of everybody and then you're going to be the one that's looking like a fool. Right. Real talk. You know real talk. Nah, real shit, man. I'm like, man, like, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy out here how dudes don't understand that, you know, a lot of times they're fucking up their selves in the end by doing the goofy shit in the beginning. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> exactly. It's crazy. And, 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 and the, not lying, it's all about, it's not even about the bitch, it's about you. Right, like, right. It's, it's not about the bitch. And mm-hmm. I was trying to explain that to my partner. I was like... You need to stop lying to these bitches. And the first thing he said, what well, these bitches lie to us? Right, right. Exactly. You should lie to these bitches. Like, just don't deal with the bitch. I right. Another bitch. Right. He was like, man, what, what, what? he thought I was corny because I was like, I'll tell these bitches. And he's like, why would you tell a bitch everything? Like, I was like, look, if there's things that I don't want to uh, reveal about myself, I'm right. not going to say it. You feel me? But other things, I'll let it be known. Yeah, I'll do this. I'll do that. Or whatever. Right. I don't give a fuck. You feel me? But he was like, oh, well, you know. Shit, these bitches ain't shit, so I, I'm just gonna keep lying. I'm- and see, and that's the funny part because if you know the bitches ain't shit, why you need to lie? You see what I'm saying? Because and why are you dealing with her? Right, exactly. Because if you if you think you need to lie, because see, the lying is because you think that being honest is going to either make you lose the thing you're trying to get, or it's going to make a, 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 a the situation uh, undesirable or whatever it is. So that's why you're lying. That's the only reason you lie. If 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 you if if the truth or if you thought the truth was gonna get you what you wanted, you wouldn't need to lie. The reason why you think you need to lie is because you think the truth is not gonna get you there. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so that even and this is why he's saying that the truth is about you and not about the chick. Because basically when you're lying, all you're saying is, yo, uh, there's something wrong with me, so I gotta I gotta lie. So that you don't find out what's really happening. That's all, that's all it is. That's all you're saying. Yeah. And basically yeah. what you're doing is you're dissing yourself by lying. You see what I mean? Now, but dudes, yeah. dudes don't get it. They don't get that shit. They don't get that shit. So you're dissing yourself is- by lying. And what happens is by you dissing yourself, you're making yourself less attractive. And so what happens is she sees that you're not attractive. You see what I mean? Yeah. Which is it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And and, and 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 the thing is, you could be dealing with a female who possibly, who knows, she might be a good woman for you in the future. Mm-hmm. It's just your dumb ass lying all this, all this, you know, cause, you know, whatever you know that you know get done in the dark don't come to light. So you over here, you lying over and over and shit. You over here trying to cover, you cover up your tracks. You feel me? Because you over here hitting one lie, then after another lie, right? Then after another lie. Right, exactly. Because then you get found out, and you're like, "Damn, I really like this chick," and now she ain't fucking with you no more because you you was fucking doing all this bullshit from the beginning. Because this the, this is the funny part. Dudes always stay saying, or they they be feeling like they be on some shit like. Uh oh yeah, I'm just trying to pump and dump and whatever. I'm just trying to hit it. Yo, most of these cats are not equipped to just hit it. Most of these dudes, most of these dudes will fall in love the first time they smash a chick. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and and on top of that, if the chick is a cool chick and she fucking with you, you know, 
you don't you you might you might actually want to make her wifey if you want a girlfriend because if you find a chick who's down for you who you're attracted to who's giving you good sex who's bringing shit to the table right you're probably not gonna want to uh just be like oh i'm just gonna pump and dump her now you're gonna be like yeah i'm feeling her but then see if you are the dude that keeps lying and then that could fuck up your whole situation and are you fucking up an actual good thing with a chick and now you got to get back up in these streets with these cornball ass women you know what I'm saying? And you fucked it up because you, you know what I mean? Like, you didn't know how to play the game right in the first place. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, it's it's crazy, man. That's why I can't, I can't get down with that, with that, with that lying shit. I'm just like, yo, that shit is lame. Like, it's just like. But, but you know what a lot of dudes do and a lot of people do this too. You know, it, it deals with their ego. Mm. They go off of motivational reasoning. Like, they already have an agenda, right? Mm. So, they already have this hatred towards women. So, right. they all, regardless so they're going to try to come up with another argument and after another argument and another argument and another argument to rationalize their statements, right? And what you're going to see is you're going to see these consistent contradictions mm. throughout their argument. Right. Like, the shit that you're saying in regards to honesty is consistently, like, it's consistent in regards there's no, like, holes in it. Right. You feel me? Like, but when you over here, oh, you buy it this way and you treat this this way and, you know what I'm saying, like, you're going to come across too much contradictions where it's like you can't have both sides of the, of the puzzle. You feel me? But mm-hmm. I don't, most of these headaches, they integrate. It's like, it, it, it's just crazy because you know, you're sitting back this baffled like, what the fuck? Is that? But, but it, you know, it is what they did. They did it there as long as I just saw my shit. But it's crazy when you have discussions with people and you be like, what the fuck? What are you saying? Well, that, and, and a lot of it, you know, a lot of it too is that most people who gravitate towards, uh, the whole lying thing, it's it's stemming from low self esteem. You see what I'm saying? Because it's basically again, if you had high self esteem, you would you would only really want things to come to you through authenticity. Meaning, you would say, "Yo, this is what I am. This is what I'm about. This is what I, this is what I do. This is how I am. This is what I like." So. uh I want to deal with people who are cool with who I am. You see what I'm saying? The the insecurity comes in where it says, you know, when a person is insecure, they say, well, no one likes me or no one will like me, right? So I can't be me to get things. So I have to be yeah. someone else. You see what I'm saying? That's what, that's what that is. That's what that is. Yeah. And also when it comes to dealing with women... That's what a, a guy thinks. Well, uh, no woman's actually going to want to be with me, so I got to lie and pretend to be somebody else or act like I got more than I got or act like this or act like that in order for her to like me because me being me is not enough. You see what I'm saying? It's, it always it always comes back to all of that. It always comes back to all of that. That's that's the problem with, with the whole thing. and It's like dudes are, are just scared to to be who the fuck they are because they don't like themselves in, in you know just in general you see what i'm saying yeah yeah and the thing is they still want a girl to, they'll expect a girl to be honest with them right 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 they'll exactly that's the that's the funny part that's the shit that always makes me like i'm like so you mad at chicks lying but you gonna lie too Right, because even when you said, like when you said to your boy, you said, yo, you know, why lie to these chicks? He's like, oh, well, they lie too. Okay, so if you don't like that they lie, why are you also doing it? You see what I mean? That, that's, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You understand? Well, you're you're doing this thing that I don't like, so I'm going to do it too. <laughs> Retarded, that shit is the, stu- the stupidest shit ever. I'm like, that makes no sense. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, funny. well, somebody somebody stole all of my money, so I'm gonna steal somebody else's money. Like, what? Like, you didn't? You, how did it feel when your money got stolen? You didn't like it, so what would make you? Why would you do that? Also, yeah, exactly. you feel what I'm saying? It, 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 but when you're dealing with men, though, you know, like a lot of times, <laughs> we'll say that women got these emotions and they can be crazy with emotions, but men, we got these egos, man, and mm. a, a lot of people that they. they, they 
they want to continue to stroke their ego. They want to do whatever they can mm-hmm. to stroke their ego. So if you over here trying to correct them about some shit, they're not going to look at it from a logical standpoint. They ego already distorted right. that, that, um, that logic. So it's like, Right, and, and and mostly, you know what it is. Most of, let's keep it honest. Let's keep it real. A lot of these motherfuckers that subscribe to that shit, it's it's they they have a like I, I think you said this earlier. They have this attitude of I want to get back at this girl. You uh-huh. understand? Like it's like like dudes be approaching women like women are the enemy. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm dead serious. Yeah, Motherfuckers be acting crazy. like they in a war with bitches. I'm like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, shit. Like, yo, y'all, y'all, and that, and that right there is why you're having issues with women because you have the resentment, you have the the anger, the bitterness, and that's gonna come out when you're dealing with girls. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's cra- it's crazy because because the thing is like I I seen too many dudes uh uh fuck shit up with lying that's the that's why I'm saying this shit I seen too many because look all that all that's gonna happen when you tell the truth or you being honest is you're going to get the the response that's supposed to happen period yeah you see what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> Period. Yeah. So so that's yeah. it. That's it. The chick is actually responding to what is. Versus. And, and, you, go, no, go ahead. Go. You know what I'm No, and, and I remember reading this in uh, Alan Roger Curry book. When you, you you uh you know present yourself, you know, with honesty or whatever, you prevent the likelihood of somebody being a liar as well. Uh, right, right. You feel because they're like, fuck it, I can't really run game on this dude because obviously go be he's aware of what he wants he mm-hmm. showed his intent so it's like don't get me wrong it's gonna be bitches that's still gonna be playing games right but you decrease the possibilities of it right right and, and that's yeah that's a, that's another great point because look if 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 a chick recognizes that you're authentic and you're, you're you know you're doing what you do right it also enables her a lot of times not all the time but a lot of times to also be honest you see what i mean with you because she wrecked she respects your honesty and where you're coming from she respects that that's what guys don't understand she respects that shit and on top of that since you're so honest with yourself as a man it's easier for you to detect when a chick is bullshitting you you see what i'm saying it's easier to detect because you already know you 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 see through the bullshit and, and see, this is the thing. It's like this. Like, I always tell guys on, 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 even if you're on a date, right? If you're on a date with a woman, right? And let's say you say an embarrassing story, right? When you say an embarrassing story, that lowers her defenses. It makes her more comfortable with you. Why? Because you said something that's embarrassing. Something that can make you look not so cool, right? So, on a subconscious level, it's like, oh, shit, well... Oh man, this guy must be a, a, a good dude or a cool guy because he's he's revealing this to me. So now what happens is guess what? She also feels comfortable revealing stuff to you. So now this since her defenses are down That's a game. You see what I'm saying? Since her defenses are yeah. down, now she feels okay to be honest with you because you have just been honest with her. You see what I'm saying? And, it, and, and and what happens is is that the 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 interaction is more attractive to her because of your honesty. I'll give you another example. And and and, and this is the thing that that even happens um in sales. And this is funny because I was actually doing this and I didn't even realize I was doing this. And then I learned this shit and I was like, "Oh shit, I didn't realize I was doing this shit." So, in sales, they say that there's a thing that happens where I forgot the name of it exactly, but you go you 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 be very honest with your customer, even if it go against if it, even if it goes against you making the sale. You understand? So for example, and I've done this plenty. You you guys have probably seen me done this on the show too a lot of times, where 
I'll have a dude come up and say, yo, I want to get the membership or I want to get this and that because blah, blah, blah. And I could easily lie and say, yeah, bro, uh, yeah, get this shit because if you get this thing, then this is going to happen and blah, 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 blah. Knowing I'm lying to this motherfucker because I know he's not really ready for it. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And then just take the money, right? But now look at what happens when I'll be honest. If I'm doing a live stream and somebody calls them and they say, yo, um, you know, uh, like I know it's all about looks or whatever, I'm, or I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And, you know, I'm trying to get these chicks with this and this and that. And then he says, yo, I want, you know, can I get some coaching to do this and this and that, right? Now, I may say to him, or he may say something like, yo, listen, um, uh, I only have this amount of money. So I want to buy your shit or should I use this money for my tuition or to buy some food or whatever it is, right? So I would tell that dude, listen, right now, don't spend any money on this yet because you're not at the level where you need to be for it to even be feasible for you to get it at this point because this is all yeah. the money you have. So get it later when you get more money, but right now, don't do it. You feel what I'm saying? So now what happens is he's like, oh, shit. This guy is like being on some real shit even at the detriment to his own shit. He's being honest. So now what that ha what happens with that is that it creates a situation not only for that guy, but everybody else watching because what happens is they're like, okay, well, um, damn, like if he's this honest, if he's this honest, right, then it makes me feel more comfortable listening to this guy, watching this guy, interacting with this guy, and even buying his shit. You see what I mean? Because it makes you see me in a different light now. Because in your mind, this is the funny part, and this is what most people don't understand. In your mind, you most likely already think I'm lying. Do you understand what I'm saying? You already think I'm lying. And this is what chicks, this is what chicks don't understand. This is what dudes don't understand. Most girls already think you're lying. You see what I'm saying? So since the chick yeah, already yeah. thinks you're lying, if you're being honest with the chick, right? It again, like it brings down her defenses because she already thought you was on some bullshit. Trust me, I'm telling you guys this from experience. Most women think you're on bullshit. When I first met my girl, my girl, she was like, yo, I thought you was gonna be one of these douchebag dudes who was just gonna be on some bullshit. Who was lying? Like when I first went on a date with her, she thought everything out of my mouth was a fucking lie. You feel what I'm saying? Damn. So that's what I'm saying. Like she thought this until Damn. until we started to actually like really talk and get you know what I'm saying, get into it. Then she started to lower her defenses because she she saw that damn this dude's actually telling me shit. Like like dude, I I went on the dates like I I go up to girls with my ring on. I don't take this shit off. And sometimes I don't even mention that I have a wife. They mention it. Like, I'll be telling a girl, be like, yo, listen, man, we need to get together and make something. Then she'll look at me. She's like, isn't that a ring on your finger? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got a wife. You know, I got a wife. I got a girl. I, you know, I'm an open relationship. So anyway, so let me, you know, let me, let's exchange numbers. So you see what I mean? So she's thinking, she's thinking, damn, well, how honest is this guy? Because he's hollering at me, right? And he didn't, he didn't take his ring off. He didn't hide his ring. You see what I'm saying? So now, yeah. now she starts to trust me more with any and everything I'm doing or saying, which creates more cooperation, which lowers her defenses because now it eliminates her even wondering if I'm lying to her. And this is, and this is the, 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 the crazy part is that when, when you build that trust, right? A lot of times, the, the, the chick, she will take you at that face value and cooperate more in general because she came, she, it started with that trust. It started with that honesty. This is why I keep trying to drill into guys' heads. Yo, be honest. This is what I'm trying to tell cats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's real shit yeah. out here, man. Real shit. Damn. That's, that's, what, that's crazy. And we mentioned that, um, to say in an embarrassing, yeah, story. that shit. I'm telling you, that I, shit is I, real talk. I, 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 that I shit is real talk. Do that. I should constantly do that, but in the past, where I used to fuck up. Though I, I'm gonna talk about my problem. Mm -hmm. 
and that's not a, a you know. Right, right. Now you don't want to talk about going their problems and start crying to the chick. It's just more so yeah. you say something funny or embarrassing that exactly. it's like, oh wow, this is because because it you know what I'm saying like that 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 honesty makes it more human, makes it more authentic, makes it more of a like wow, like I'm really getting to know you for real. You know what I'm saying? And then so now she's like, cool, I can open up to this guy more because. Remember, these chicks are already on the defensive when they're first fucking with you. They're already like, I got to protect my my heart and my feelings. But now that she's like, oh, man, this guy, he actually like said that and he did that. That's that's crazy. That's interesting. Like, so now she's way more. And I'm telling you, you guys should try that out. When you on a date, tell her some like weird, weird, embarrassing shit. You see how more open the girl will be to you on the rest of the date. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's some real it's shit. It's funny. Cause, it's funny because I remember I was on a date or whatever, and mm-hmm. um, she was uh this one. I was on a date, and Fema asked me about like my job and shit. She was like, she was like, oh, did they let you take your laptop that you know back home or whatever? Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah. So she was like, oh, so it's kind of like you. You can do whatever you want. Right. So I was like, nah. I was like, I, was, I said, unless I could, I said, unless I could watch porn on the laptop. I was like, that shit ain't mine. Right, right. Like, and she was laughing. Right. 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 Exactly. Right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Like you can't. You know what I mean? It's it's crazy, man. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. And this is the funny part about the whole thing is that you never know what a person really wants to to hear. And this is what the flaw in lying is, because you're lying because you think, well, if I lie and say this or do that, then I'm doing this because she wants to hear that. You don't know what she wants to hear. You see what I'm saying? And and the yeah. funny part is, imagine she, the, the, the thing that she really wanted to hear was the truth or the thing that would have resonated with her was the truth. You didn't know that. So imagine if you would have just been honest, you would have got at it. But you had no idea because you don't know what she wants. And sometimes the truth may not get you what the, 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 the chick, but at least what happens is, is that you always want to, the truth is the end. The truth is, it is what it is. So, what would suck is if you were lying and you still didn't get the girl and then the whole time you're thinking, damn, what if I had just been honest and got her? You see what I'm saying? That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. You see what I mean? So, you know. Nah, man. That, that, that's real, man. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm looking for you Yeah, I always try to catch myself anytime I think about it. You know, see me doing something where I'm like, oh damn, like some bad habits that I had in the past where I would try to be not even like passive aggressive or not even just lie, but you know what I mean? Just right. all those things that I was doing shit that I didn't really want to do. Now I've been just developing that mindset where, you know, now my behavior and my, you know, my character, my patterns are pretty much aligned with my thoughts. So. Right, right. Nah, real shit, bro, man. Real shit, man. But yo, I appreciate the call, my dude. Cause I got to get yeah, up out of here in a second. But yeah, man, keep keep spitting that real shit, bro. Yes, sir, man. All right, bro. Holla. Peace. All right, people. It is about that time. Man, been on here for almost three hours and shit. But yo, listen, man, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, Make sure you guys get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Ebook, hard copy, audio book. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you get that shit popping. Um, let me shout out to all the people in the chat room. We have Darrell S, Ellie Empire, Shaddy Ratty, Whiskey to Don, the smart one, Legacy, Ross Yari, SW247. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Damn, I thought it was killing me right now. Who else we had up in here? Indigo TV. Um Legacy Eastern Conversation. Um Wendell. Jermaine Jones is in the building. Derek For Real, Myth Twist, AQI, Moving in Silence. Man. Um, who else is up in this spot? Martin79934. Richard Mahorn. Who else? Was up in the place. Daryl uh, Cobbertson. 
Oh, you asked me how I get where I get the the fresh fade. <laughs> it's so funny, yo. My every time when I put this shit on, this video on, my fucking head. I don't know what is it with cameras sometimes where it makes your head look very, very like ovally and shit. Like my head look big as fuck on this shit. Jesus Christ. Look at this shit. This shit is big as fuck. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. Let me show you guys some. You see this scar right here? My sister gave me the scar. Where is it? Right there. That scar is, you can see it a little bit. But we was playing fucking football in the house back in the day. So my head game is strong. <laughs> we was playing football in the house way back in the day. And so my sister tackled me, right? And we had a fucking, uh, either my, 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 my forehead's big as fuck. So she tackled me, right? And she pushed my head into the fucking, into the fucking, um, into the, the glass door. Like it was a, a door with these low glass windows. She pushed my head into that motherfucking shit. I said I got a five head. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, this is it's just funny. Because I'll be feeling like my head look super oval on, on camera. I'll be like, God damn. Shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. But yeah, listen, people. It is about that time. I'm like trying to look at all these different camera angles and shit. Let me put this shit back on here. Stop fucking around. Man. You said I let my sister body me? Hell yeah. My sister fucking threw my head into the goddamn wall. I mean to the to the to the door heavy. And got and got me that scar and shit. I was like, fuck. Cause I was, I we was playing football in the house. She she fucking grabbed my head, boom! I had my I had my arm my, my my hand on my joint like this. I was like, you know, I was like, and then I saw the blood. I started fucking losing my mind. I was like, shit, man. But yeah, bro. But um, but yeah, but listen, guys, I gotta get up out of here. I appreciate all you tuning in, hollering at your boy, and I will see you guys next week, probably Monday. Or Wednesday, but definitely Friday. You feel what I'm saying? So I will holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.